What's happening, everybody, and welcome to episode three of the Combro Stations podcast, the best podcast in the world, oh. and the only podcast with two of your best bros. I'm one of your bros, Eddie, joined by a very, very special guest today. Sheps, how's it going, bro? Guest. Heck you. <laughs> Freaky. We're gonna edit okay. this out. I'm gonna do the whole The, oh, the way that we could have done that, the way that we could have done that was Sheps could have been like, oh great to have you. Thanks for being here, because you're the special person. No, I don't I don't like you at all. Um, anyway, we have also our brothers from over at As Always Entertainment, James and his significant other Tyler. How's it going, boys? Hello. How's it going? Hello. We're good. How's it going? <laughs> James, are you here? I saw you I'm, just joined. I am now here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit, I did you <laughs> did. My my internet is having an absolute meltdown, but I, I unplugged the, the Ethernet cable. We might be fine now. We might not, but nice. we'll find out. See, well, this is the this is the actual excuse. People were saying, "Oh, you guys shouldn't really associate yourselves with these little YouTubers." We've heard that. Are you talking about what people have? Oh, you've heard what people have been saying to us. Is that what you're saying? Well, ah, it's like for is, example, is it, is it, is it, the reason we've got you on the Conversations podcast is that we didn't. You weren't invited to the True Gamer podcast. You know, that's, that's for it. True Gamers. Right. Exactly, um, exactly. Well, that's, right. that's Which, we, that, yeah. it's, like first that. of all, it's offensive. Second of all, it makes no sense because you wouldn't have any podcast if it wasn't for me giving you the whole fucking Ooh. idea. Let alone you've now got three. <laughs> podcast that equally like you've got this this podcast which is like oh this is us just our personalities just talking shit then you've got our gaming podcast and then we've got our movie podcast oh so you mean as always entertainment except a Kmart version <laughs> is that what you're saying uh, so the listen, po- listen, and you yeah, literally we- even used in your conversation podcast you use the tag like the best go. podcast on the internet which is actually what we use for Clubhouse which has been that's, around for like, four <laughs> years so <laughs> so the thing that you're actually look saying at this, is look at him he's getting you, testy, isn't he? he's getting you testy. have completely copied us and all I'm gonna say say to that is mm, you're welcome so you're welcome <laughs> those are some interesting thoughts and i'd like to explore them further but before that this podcast is brought to you by the amazing super bros over on <laughs> patreon.com forward slash conversations who do we have to thank we have saki the one and only comrade conrad diogo dildo record friction cats but the friendly patron and dan the man thank you bros so much for keeping the, really lights, the mics on and the <laughs> yeah. these are these are our, the producers what you guys call yeah. them this is our producer level so this is quite decent yeah, um, this, is, this is quite decent this no is no that's what that's what i'm quantity, saying that's a, that's you know, a really yeah. that's a really nice long list you've got oh thank you that's he good. was actually being genuine for once yeah. because you were always tell. defensive always defensive <laughs> no 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 I was genuinely like saying I was like wow that's a really long list for the start of a podcast like I, oh, I wish ours was that long see. considering <laughs> that there we are go. considering that, that we're three months into this podcast thing yeah and the patron thing which is like was literally a joke yeah yeah <laughs> it was and not even kidding having a patreon literally a joke for like Six months and people we was were like, like, "Hey, join our Patreon like yeah. YouTubers do." And, and then people and were like, "Well, why don't you actually make one?" And so we did, and then it it did it it's, became something. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. So now the OnlyFans boys, mm. uh, yeah, for now the we premium content. Fans. There we go. Mm, right. uh, and and we have our guests on. Obviously, they'll be joining us. Uh, so head over to OnlyFans. I actually don't even know what that looks like. <laughs> yeah, better, we're skipping that one. We'll edit that one out. We'll, we'll edit that one out. We'll edit it yeah. out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so guys, you guys are on the uh, the third episode of the Conversations podcast. You guys are here for the first time. Obviously, we were contractually obliged to return the favor because you had us on your podcast. Uh, Tyler, how do you how do you feel about being here? No, I feel great. I feel Before great. I let you finish, I yeah. just want to let everybody know that this is the Conversations podcast, the podcast <laughs> coming to you as a result of all the kind of support of all of all of our bros over at patreon.com slash conversations. Well, uh, okay, that's a <laughs> I'm just going to cut him off whenever he talks. Yeah. Um, there we go. Um, <laughs> if you guys like what you hear and want to keep the shows and the fleshlights rolling, head over to uh, Patreon, kick us a few dollars a month. It supports the channel and it supports more podcasts like this yeah, and things you, like that. You can support us and you know the second best content uh, on the internet over on patreon.com forward slash conversations or, you know, if you're really like you just for tax reasons, you've got to get rid of some money like as always yeah. or, whatever, or like usual, whatever it's called. I can't remember. But yeah, something like that. actually, on a serious note, it was you guys that pushed us into sort of picking up a podcast, uh, and it is cool to That's have actually... you on. And and talking of podcasts, we're kind of interlinked. Like you had us on the Kill Connor Club a few times. We actually killed it for you, so you could rebrand. You're welcome. That's yeah, true. yeah, it's true. As yeah, the worst guest of all, t- worst guest of all time. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know. Got to set the bar somewhere, you know. Yeah, of course. You've got. Yeah. You can't have That's a exactly best you unless you have a worst. So exactly. We ha- 
we have we are the best worst. We're like when someone goes, who is the worst? We're right there at the top of the podium. True, right, that's the what we are. best worst. And if you think about it, right, there's no point getting all the way up to the highs on the roller coaster if you don't come down. You know. It's yeah, the exactly. Down bit exactly. That's fun. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's no such thing as legendary. In you, if every day or every guest was legendary, no one's legendary. Yeah, it's just yes, normal, right? That's it. Exactly. That's you it. need to have the balance. Exactly. You need to have the top. You need to have the bottom. You can't exactly. have a winner without a loser, and you guys are exactly. losers. So that's so what the, I want everyone to know what from we're this. Saying, <laughs> for the, the Kill Connor mute clubs Tyler. and and as always podcast for those guests, the fishies, the Robin Gamings, the Colin, Mor- Colin Moriarty's, you're welcome. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, because yeah. we the we fact set that you put Ethan you. in that category, honestly, is the weirdest thing to hear. To us, it's just size. Ethan. He's just you know. The swog guy, that's fucking weird. But yeah. Well, he is the number one pillar of the He's four pillars. He's also, so. frick you guys, one of our older subs. So how about yeah, that? Yeah, innit? How about exactly. frick you? How about He's one of our older the subs four pillars too. community. He was our sub first, and so was James. Uh, frick you. Frick you mm. both. You're I, welcome. <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't, you know I'm changing tax. Fuck your podcast. You're welcome for us getting you into YouTube. Digging. Right, right. Because I wouldn't be here without conversations. Yeah, you're welcome for your career. Yeah, Tyler. You're welcome for your great podcast and awesome community. Okay. Right. We are the ones that are to thank for all of your whole community, the entire That's world. true. Ex- humbly accept. Yeah, yeah. Except for the fact that if it wasn't for me going to the UK, to your country, um, you know, guesting your country and doing a Four Pillars meetup, your careers would be nowhere right now. Um, so <laughs> like that's the reality of the situation, isn't it? You know oh, what I mean? There was, I'm there laughing, but I'm crying on the, the inside. It was like country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How's your brother right, on, by the way? Anyway, um, you oh, know, shit, we'll yeah. get on with the podcast. We'll get on with the podcast. So I want to, you know. All right. One more little thing I just want to mention. For those of you guys that can't support us over on Patreon, that's no problem. We understand strippers aren't cheap and all that stuff. It's true. Um, instead of uh, heading over, instead of that, you can head over to youtube.com slash conversations if you're listening on podcast services. We've got a bunch of other stuff is there. Is this your Movie fourth Club, ad which so is, far with and, um, the podcast? Is that what's happening right now? <laughs> Is this what it really? sounds like when you listen to one of our podcasts? It yeah. is. It genuinely is. I've never except, been on the other except, side except the, except the list isn't as long. This is really long. <laughs> Do you know what? It wouldn't yeah, have been so long. It. it wouldn't have been so long if you guys didn't jump in. Honestly, it would have been like two minutes. <laughs> anyway, movie club, anime club, and loads of live uh, gaming streams and all that stuff. Quarantine's the best time for us. You should just join us and follow that kind of stuff. And if you're on podcast services, feel free to rate us on five stars and stuff like that. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much, bros, for helping us out. Yes, so you guys are officially on the Conversations podcast and I'll ask it one more time, and I'll actually let you finish this time, Tyler. How does it feel being in presence of greatness? <laughs> well, I mean, I I get to talk to James every week, so it's pretty, yeah. pretty so the, normal. So the question stands. Yeah, so well, that's what I'm saying. So, it, so it feels pretty, it feels pretty <laughs> normal by now because I, I I mean I genuinely think James is the best YouTuber um, going right now. So you know, Aww. but it feels pretty normal. You know, all right. So, look, you're not all right, biased at all either, so. Yeah, no, no, definitely, no, definitely no. Not. Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't have any financial gain um, exactly. for James's career, um, and you're not affiliated in any way. So no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. But in terms of like being on the podcast with you two hosts, I mean, it's really good. Um, I've got to catch up with my smaller employees and, and team members that are a bit lower on the podium. <laughs> oh, but um, I'm glad to be there here. This is like the worst episode of um, Undercover Boss ever because you know because <laughs> you guys don't know I'm your boss, even though I keep telling you I'm the boss. You know what I mean? Like Wait, you guys was like, that? I don't believe we you. did see somebody buy all of our shares. Is that was that? Je- was that who the hell was that? Oh, well, I mean, I, I, I had an extra three dollars. So I bought all the shares of conversations. Is that, That's is that what I US dollars to. or dollary dues? It was dollary yeah, dues. Dollary dues. Right, dollary right. dues was actually only a dollar fifty US. So. so it's even cheaper, yeah. Even yeah. cheaper. Yeah. When you think about it that Oof. way. <laughs> so so um, that that uh, that joke backfired a little bit. God damn yeah. it! Whoops! Whoops! Um, and before we get going into our shit and whatnot, I just want to give a little shout out to uh, Founded Scarab. It, I, this was a long time ago. He made this tweet and he made this uh, Instagram message, but we haven't had a podcast since then to talk about it. Um, he used one of my pictures, you know, the the scary nonce picture that I have. Yes. And I'll pop it up on the screen for people to see. He used my picture and sent it as a joke to someone else to like creep them out. <laughs> 
and and he sent a screenshot of the conversation afterwards and people are like it's like who the fuck is that it's like it's eddie who the fuck is eddie and it's like how do you not know who eddie is shake my head and is using literally my face as a meme for other people who don't know who the fuck i am and right. i thought that was absolutely amazing also that's something Great. creep people out why not why not I mean, I've, I've, got, I've, I've, I've got a question I had a question. Go ahead. Um, James, how do you feel about being on, on the Conversation podcast? Because um, I feel like <clears throat> you need to be asked as well. Oh, I, I'll run I the show as, as I'm, I'm the only experienced one, apparently, I, and I'm running <laughs> a podcast and, and asking you questions to multiple guests. But James, how, how do you feel about being on the podcast? I, well, I don't feel anything. This is just a job. So. Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a that's job. What I thought. You're at work, uh, right. That's what I thought, yeah. Just want yeah, to check yeah. that. Sorry, back back to you, Eddie. Sorry to interrupt. I I realised that this is your show and you're trying to get better at it, but I thought I'd just you know. It's okay. It's uh, your apology is actually accepted. It's okay. It's totally fine. Oh, no, then. Um, you guys. actually answered we actually kind of answered one of our questions that we had sent in by one of our guys uh it was a uh, nirok he sent he asked he asked how did we get started doing podcasts and stuff like that and you guys basically said uh tyler sort of came up to us and said why aren't you guys doing podcasts we had i admire you guys so it. much you're so yes. talented yeah i think you're like misquoting that. me i'm gonna be honest with you here no, I, I think, think that's, that's pretty i think that's a direct it, quote i actually uh, no, recorded I, th- the, I, I think you're I've being a bit i've got the transcript i think you're being, you're being a bit facetious right now chefs i think that's what's happening right now and i don't really like it but um <laughs> we'll we'll let you have well, I'll, let you have, I'll let you have you're on our podcast so you're gonna have to shut up and take it yeah we're, yeah, we're gonna edit it i'm on the, po- the podcast you guys host and i own yes correct that is true <laughs> <laughs> oh boy all right um so this is how's the whole show this is gonna guys. be the absolute whole show by the way <laughs> genuinely this is the thing so we we just give each other shit constantly the this, entire this way this is <laughs> the problem with having mates on as guests yeah yeah. You know, you just fall into just giving each other shit. So we'll have to, we'll definitely have to. James, how do you feel about giving your friends shit on uh, on podcasts? <laughs> 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 we've learned quickly. We've learned quickly. Thank That's you right. so much, Tyler. <laughs> That's right, man. That's all right. I, I'm the reason you start a podcast and, and I'm the reason you're getting better at podcasts. But that's what, that's what I'm here for, man. That's what I'm here for. So, you know, you are. Oh, boy. Um, I just want to mention to you guys, so... Have you guys, one of the things I asked for you guys to do is to come up with some stories, if you had any, to bring to the podcast and whatnot. I was going to say I'll go first to sort of set the tone and whatnot to get things going or to get things prepared for you. Uh, James and whatnot, if you've got something that pops into your head, feel free to jump in. Is that okay? Can I get started with that one? Yes, please. By all means. Okay. All right. So I wanted to tell a story, uh, which is actually came from a question from one of our bros. I will get his name right now. It is uh, it's Ashton. He goes, lads, lads, lads. I want to hear your funniest, most fucked up, sto- uh, fucked up nightclub stories uh, you gamers have. And he goes, uh, now, since James doesn't go outside, James can just tell one of his funny or fucked up stories that you have, wherever it might be. Thanks one for the game. One of those many stories I have, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, you're, yeah one you're of those many so stories. Well. Yeah. Exactly, your clubbing stories. Anyway, so I had this one time, I went to a friend's uh, university. He lives up north, so probably around uh, James's area. Anything above the M25 <laughs> is just north to <laughs> me, basically. Yeah, the frozen He's a wastes. northerner. Yeah. yeah, basically, that's what it is. Um, and I went there for an entire weekend, actually like a four-day weekend. So it was like Friday all the way up to Monday, and I was coming back on Monday. Um it was a big, big uh, binge session, obviously. We're young and we just start drinking from the moment we get there all the way through, barely sleep, go out to cheap clubs, actually, because they had like clubs nearby. And because it's north and nobody has any money or any sense or, of civilization or anything, it's all just cheap drinks. Now, on the first night, one of my good friends, he disappears. And we're like, he's a big boy, you know. You probably know Tyler, right? One of your boys disappears. You send him a text message, but they're big boys. They can handle themselves, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're just like, okay, he's probably found some bird or something. Well, well, like you, well you, just... know, you know the friends that are okay and you know the friends that aren't so okay, right? Like, you, you yeah. know, they know the difference. We've all got that mental checklist, like, where's Johnny? Where's Billy? Oh, yeah. Todd's missing? He'll be all right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And he was one of those Todds. He was like, oh, you know, he's probably, he's a big lad. He's goes, he'll, he'll be fine. He'll be he's fine a proper no Todd. Yeah. Exactly. He, he just disappeared and we carried on the night. Saturday rolls round and we, we barely get any sleep, but we, you know, as you do in university, you just get up the next day, carry on the drinking, carry on the partying, keep going. We still didn't see him on Saturday night. We thought, okay, he probably, he probably okay, that's really fucked up. For sure. You would have texted him by this point, right? 
No, we, we did to give him a text. We gave him a courtesy text, but it was a large group as well. So you know how like, oh, uh, we're going to go do this thing. Oh, we've kind of forgotten about one person. And then we go check a bit later and whatnot. You're a good friend. A very good friend. I have to say, this was the time in my life where I probably wasn't the best friend, I have to say. Also, this um, is back in the Stone Age. We're, we're a few years older than you. So <laughs> this, is back when, this is probably back when you had to pay for minutes and calls and shit. Yes, you know? exactly, exactly. And text messages, you only had a certain amount that you had to use. So oof, it was just only for emergencies did you use them. Uh, so the, Saturday came around. He still wasn't around. Saturday night, we still don't see him. Some people gave some calls. We didn't get we didn't get a response from him, and then Sunday rolls around, and we're like, Jesus, Sunday. Okay, maybe we we really should be worried now. Where the hell is this guy? Saturday evening rolls around, and he walks in through the door wearing the same clothes that he had on the set on the first day that he left. Oh my god! And okay. we're like, oh shit, what the what the fuck happened to you, man? How's it going? But he looks okay. He doesn't look hurt or anything. So we're like, okay, so. Are you all right? What happened to you that night? And he just walked over to the table, sat down, and he threw down a piece of paper, and it was a ticket from Calais to Dover. Calais, for those of you guys that don't know, is France. What the fuck? <laughs> right. The guy told us the story how he got so drunk, he doesn't remember anything, he just woke up in Calais in France the <laughs> next day. Nice. What? And I was like, what? How did you even mistakenly do that? And he goes, I don't know, man. I just woke up and I was there and there were some like really nice French people around me and they were just like giving me food and stuff. And I was like, what? what? How, what? how did you even get on the ferry? How did you How did you do this? And he's like, well, you know, I use my ID, my ID is my passport. I don't have a driver's license. So I had my passport with me and I just... I must have used that to leave the country. I was like, first of all, we're in we're in North England. How did you get? Yeah, you're to- not even like. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. It's not even like near, yeah, near the where, where you even, possibly get to another Dover's get the to other France side of the country. Yeah, yeah. Like, how the fuck? It's a hundred miles from London to get to where we was in uh, Loughborough. That's it, Loughborough University. That's where we were. You got over a hundred miles down, got all the way to Dover, and then somehow managed to get over to the next country before realizing where the fuck he was, and then woke up the next day. And I was like, how, d- how did you do that? How could you possibly have gone to another country by accident while you were how drunk? Did you stay drunk for that long when you've got to travel such a long distance? Was he right? drunking the whole time, like on a I, train or something? You must do. But at some point you're like, okay, I'm getting the. I'm getting back home or back to where I was. I need to get the train. You turn up in London. Ah, fuck! I need to book a ticket to Calais. Like I need to know this guy's thought process for this. Right. He was obviously like of sane mind enough that he could like go to the the ticket office well, wherever you need it your might be by the ticket. For Calais. Yeah, he, he uses his passport uh, as the as his ID oh, instead okay, of okay. like um because he just didn't have a driver's license back right, then. Right. And I was like, how? How did you go through so many steps? And he just goes, he doesn't remember anything. He just remembers waking up there and then he had to pay his way to get back. And obviously it's such a fucking long distance and he didn't have a car. He just had to take public transport from like a, a bus or coach or whatever it might be to get back. So like, how did you even do that? It doesn't make any sense. And why didn't you, you message some someone? of it, right? You'd like, think. You'd like think. You, don't just wait, you don't just remember none of it. Surely it would start coming back to you. I mean, I haven't seen him in quite a while. Maybe we should like get him on those. You know those therapists. Yeah, maybe he's in like Russia now. He's just ended up <laughs> in Russia. You just don't know. He could be. <laughs> get those uh those therapists that have like a uh, hypnosis and they reveal your your memories that you don't know you have or something like that, just to <laughs> recount the what the fuck happened. Oh, yeah, but yeah, that was that was the most weirdest one. The, cause I was, there was just no answers. A bunch of questions and no answers as I'm, to what the fuck happened. I'm I think this thinking, guy's full okay. of shit. I think this guy's full of shit. I call bullshit on this story. No, he, he actually put a ticket down in front of us. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure ticket. he fucking did. I'm sure he bought a ticket. Who says he fucking used it? But that means he would have had to still had to go all the way down to the other yeah, side of the country, from, though. If it's from Calais to London, that's or Dover, wherever it is, like that's the... Yeah. yeah, Ed, you're a shit detective. Mm. Which ticket was it? You better remember. Cast your memory back See, like a decade. That's the thing. I can't remember if it was like a, an online e-printed ticket or if it was like an actual like printed out from the kiosk ticket. But I mean, I just remember being like, what the fuck? Oh, man, that's 
Man, you're making me cast doubt on this story now. I think we need to not now. ruin this story because no, for the should. benefit of the entertainment on the podcast. No, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, I mean, it, I mean, it definitely happened, and also he, um, he fucked like the hottest French model as well. Yeah, totally. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, three yeah, of them. Three bit, of them. You know? She did tell me. Story. Been, We've set the bar low. I'm giving your story a three out of ten because you can't even remember all the basic details <laughs> of this ancient story of yours. Somebody all tell us story. Details. James, tell us your best nightclub story. Go. <laughs> yeah. So one time I stepped out the door. <laughs> that was it. I and stepped out the it. door to pick up the pizza from the uh, the delivery guy, Mate, and uh, wolf. That was wolf. That was a rage. What a rage. Uh, James, I have no. a real question for you before we get into because I'm sure Tyler mm. has uh, this one story about how he went to the fridge or something uh, yeah. and it was upside down. Um, mm. <laughs> how do you feel now that <clears throat> in your house the only true AC gamer is over playing Animal Crossing? Fairly, fair good point. How do you feel about that? Right there. Uh, I mean, what, what do you what do you actually want me to say to that question? I just was just trying to throw some shade at you. It doesn't really matter. You okay. you are. Well, he didn't actually want you to answer that, the to question. Be right, with you. Yeah, it, it so was, it you've was, got you've done what you wanted. Yeah, um, we, we got it. <laughs> yeah, great great input, James. Tyler, what's your story? What's your, well, see, this is the thing. I, I I wasn't sure. Do I tell a new story? Um, do I even have a new story worthy of, or do I go back and maybe tell an old story that I've told on my podcast years ago that maybe your audience, same as my audience, hasn't heard before? <laughs> but it's, it's, it's totally up to you. We're going to leave it up to you, and we're going to. Well, this it. is the thing, James. Like so many, we've got so many new listeners in the last few years that have never heard lots of the Tyler's it. tales. That, yeah, we've we've yeah, been doing yeah, do a, do a classic. Yeah. Okay, let's let's do a classic. Um, can, I'm going to let James pick. I'm going to give James three oh options. Oh my god. Okay. Um, Bieber karaoke. Okay, that's an all-time classic. I feel like a lot of people know that one though. <clears throat> I feel like, well, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Um, uh, let me think. Hit on on a plane. Remember the plane one? Vaguely. Vaguely. Yes, I do. Yeah, remember yeah, the yeah, plane yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, actually, I don't. I want <laughs> both of them. I'm, I'm going to tell that one. Oh, yeah, that's yes. a classic. That's a, that's a, that's a classic. One. That's a classic. Especially because it's also a nightclub story. This is a great yeah, story. True. This is a great yeah, fucking story. Okay, okay. So this is goes <laughs> into my nightclub story, and it's it's gonna be my. I guess I'll, I'll have plenty of stories, but okay. So I, I want both of them is a is a bit of a meme that exists, and most people don't even know what it is from. Uh, but when this was probably back in. 20 it was 2016 mm-hmm. i was in melbourne i was at university and i was seeing on and off this girl who and i i truly believe that most people there's obviously there's exceptions like james who the first girlfriend he was with that's that's the one but i i mm-hmm. feel like most people date the devil uh <laughs> at some point sooner in their or life. later yeah sooner, sooner or later, later a guy will meet a girl you'll fall in love with her and she'll ruin your life. Uh, and yep. I feel like every guy has to kind of go through that, where you're like, I don't know why I like this girl so much, but she's literally the worst, and also horrible for me, and is ruining my life. So I was dating, I started, it was at the beginning stages, first couple months, of that girl. Um, nice. You, yeah, yeah. it's a long story, it's called The Ultimate Honey Dick, there's a full Clubhouse episode to it, on Patreon.com forward slash as always. Um, it's my best story. It's literally an hour long saga <laughs> story I tell to get through. Um, it's tremendous. Uh, but she originally when I met her, she had a boyfriend and I, we got paired up in a uni assignment. That's how I met and we just got talking and I obviously was never going to make a move on her. She was very, very, very hot. She got a boyfriend. He was a, the biggest beta cuck I've ever met and he was super, super jealous of me whenever I hung out with her. Even though like literally I was never going to make a move, I wouldn't do that. Um, but eventually that caused them to start fighting. They already had their own problems and they broke up. So we we're kind of on, on and off talking, not talking, but I was just kind of, at this point, this was the first time I was like done with her, the first of many, because that happened a lot. We stopped talking for m- many periods. So I was like, no, nah, I'm sick of this. Um, I know, like, she, oh, so she was still with the boyfriend, sort of, they'd broken up, not broken up. And she was talking to me and wanting to come to my place and hang out with me and all this stuff. But then I realized that she's actually getting back with the boyfriend. I was like, oh, this girl's playing me. I'm going to stop talking to her. So I ignored her. And one day I met this other girl. Uh, Her name is Lara. And she was super, like, genuinely nice girl. Just 
uh, super cool, uh, wishy, huge into archaeology, huge and, personality, <laughs> huge personality. You know, great <clears throat> set of eyes. That, yeah, no, yeah. Gen- she did have a great set of eyes. Both these gods did actually. Holy fuck! Um, but uh, Lara, sweet, just sweet girl. She was like eight. She's eighteen at the time. I was like, I was just turned twenty one, and she, I met her, got a number, and we'd been talking and. I was g- going to ask her out on a date. And as I was, I remember I was literally sitting on my phone about to ask this girl out, like, Hey, do you want to hang out this weekend? Yeah. yeah. I get a text message from the devil and oh. she goes, uh, Hey, looks like we're in the same course next semester. Like the exact same class and course and everything. And that's like our main oh. one that I'm stuck with her on. And I fucking th- threw my phone at the wall. Like, Fuck. Like, <laughs> God damn it. And then I just, I just ignored her. But then like, I didn't, th- at the end of the day, she's like, Tyler, why aren't you talking to me? I was like, oh, fuck's sake. And then I replied. Yeah. And then she's like, are you going to this thing this Saturday? Like a friend's like, um, drinks, birthday drinks thing. Um, and I was like, yeah. She's like, I'm going to guess what? And I was like, what? She's like, come on, guess. I'm like, I, I don't have time this. What? And she's like, I broke up with my boyfriend. I moved out. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, ah. She's hooked me back in, boys. She's hooked me back in. <laughs> um, so this is the problem with the devil. Girl. Yeah, this I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and she's, yeah, super hot. Um, they always are. Yeah, so I, I went out to this birthday drinks thing. And I'd, I'd had a family dinner. Because like in December. So I'd had like a family thing with my cousin's aunt and uncle that lived down in Melbourne. They're the only family I have. And it was like a pre-week before Christmas sort of family thing. I then go out and she's already drunk and been calling me, Tyler, where are you? Tyler, where are you? Get here now. So I get there and this type of girl she was, um, where she's just flirting with everyone and all the guys, every guy wanted to fuck her. And mm-hmm. I walk in and I say hi to all my friends. I'm like, oh, where's um, the devil? And they go, oh, <laughs> she's inside. Um, and I walk in and she's got about 12 guys around her, all like trying to get in. Fucking and hell, and bunch of yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and I hear as I walk up, I hear one of the guys go, "Oh, I can be Tyler." And what that you know? So <laughs> what? what she was saying, she'd been talking about me, like, "Where's Tyler? Where's Tyler?" To all these guys, and they're like, "What the fuck?" Who the fuck's Tyler? And then I walk in, she just runs up to me and like starts kissing me, and all the guys go, "Well, there's Tyler." <laughs> I was like, hey, "There's yeah. Tyler." Um, turns out I can't be Tyler. That yeah, guy's yeah, Tyler. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but she's like, uh, and I go, uh, and she's like, oh, finally you get here, blah, blah, blah. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll meet you outside. I'm just going to go get a drink at the bar. I hadn't had a single drink. I wasn't drunk enough. <clears throat> she was so drunk. And I was like, oh, I already know dealing with her tonight is going to be a fucking nightmare. So um, I need a drink or two or seven. Uh, so <laughs> I walk off. I go to the bar with a mate. In line at the bar is fucking Lara. Ooh. Mm. Oh no! <laughs> like I don't oh, know what's gonna no. happen. <laughs> perfect, <laughs> perfect. Um, and uh, the universe. Thank you, thank you, universe. Yeah, thank yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, I thought in my head, "Fuck yeah, this is a way better idea." So Lara sees me, gives me a big hug. She, um, you start talking. She's with her friends. I hadn't met any of these friends. Now it tell, uh, tells you a lot about a girl by her friends. What are her friends like? That's oh, yeah. really who she is. For um, sure, yeah. Her friends are super, super normal and nice. So I was like, wow, this is great. And he, meanwhile, the devil like has no girlfriends, except one that she mm. kind of uses. Um, so that I tells you a lot about guy friends. There's so much less drama. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm, 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 first of all, mm, so basic. Second of all, mm, slut. Um, yeah. Yeah. Also, <laughs> like, obviously is into star signs. Uh, the, her Instagram bio oh. is her star sign. Um, oh Jesus Christ! I'm a vertigo. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you say vertigo? Did you say vertigo? <laughs> is that, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I said the wrong. I said the wrong word. Uh, hey, hey, it's just a as vertigo. Real it makes sense. Star, so it just, it's just it's the the same. That none of them are real it's anyway. The same. So it doesn't matter. Exactly. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but I, I'm in line there. See Lara. I'm talking to her and her friends, and I say, hey, look, I'll buy us all some drinks. So, so I buy a round of drinks for everyone. Her friends are very happy. She's happy. We did some Jaeger bombs, had some drinks, and then we go on the dance floor. I'm dancing with with Lara, and I'm thinking, "Fuck, this is what I need to do. This is a nice girl. I'm gonna stick with Lara for the whole night. This is my night now. I'm not fucking around um, with the devil." So I, uh, 
I'm hooking up with genitalia uh, set. Yeah, yeah, no, well, I'm hooking up with Lara on the on the dance floor, and it's I'm like, this is great, fuck yeah. But then at the corner of my eye, I see the devil c- drunk coming <laughs> to the dance floor looking for me, and I'm like, I should just think, Tyler, don't worry about it. She can see you with this girl. It doesn't matter. This is the girl you actually should hang out with um, and be seeing, not the devil. But Tyler, with his, <laughs> you know, fucking dick Had a few dick drinks, brain, dick brain. Dick, dick yeah, brain yeah. goes, how about <laughs> we try and... Yes, please. I don't know, you know, not fuck up either of these things. Because... I want Just both in of case. them. Here's the thing. I want <laughs> yeah, both of them. Yeah, I mean, and that's why, why the story's called I why want both of them. Because the thing in my head, I'm like, look, I don't know who I actually want. I kind of want both of them. Um, oh. Tell me your angle for the threesome. Tell me that's right. <laughs> yeah. Now, meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm also text. So my, my best mate, Jared, who I live with now, he at the time, he's living in Brisbane, still, obviously still does with me now, but I'm texting him and I go, dude, fucking Lara and the devil are both here. He's like, Three way. That's what he's telling me. He's like three way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like no, Jared's, bro. Jared's my not... kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, um, he's also old as fuck. He likes, like getting, he he likes um, getting his dick uh, flicked by doctors. By the way, just so you know. Yeah, he does. That's true. He does legitimately <laughs> like that. True. That has happened. He does. Um, but I. So what happens is it's a fucking episode of a sitcom, literally, where I spend the next two hours jumping between the two different girls, making sure they don't run into each other or know I'm with the other one. Oof. It's literally yeah. a fucking episode You're playing a dangerous of game. a sitcom. Juggling, man. Juggling. I was juggling both girls to the point where they both found me at the same time. And are looking eye to eye with each other, and I have to oh, introduce no. them to each other. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. So this and is my. Uh, 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 I don't uh, say. I don't. My, I don't say uh, this is anything. I just say, "Hey, devil, this is uh, Lara. Lara, this is the devil." <laughs> like that's all. I literally. That's all I say. Um, I don't say who each other are to me. I, I. That's let them fucking think about that. They know. They know. They also, of course, know. Uh, because. <laughs> Wait, I won't get to the end yet. Um, they also both obviously know. Um, well, at least one of them knows. Uh, okay. But uh, meanwhile, while they're talking to her, they're like, oh, hey, blah, 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 you know, uh, saying whatever. Oh, what's just ask one? Uh, I'm texting Jared. <laughs> and I go, Jared, they're talking to each other. And he is dying laughing at me. And I'm like, oh, no, like this is a disaster. And then Lara grabs my hand and pulls me to the side and the devil kind of, I don't know, walks off drunkenly and, and just, you know, loving attention from every guy she can get attention from. Cause that's who she was. Um, yeah. I'm sure she's a lovely girl now, all the best to her. Uh, but <laughs> not at all. Um, that's right. People change. Mm-hmm. That's people change. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Yeah. They yeah, do, they do. yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> I pretty much, uh, Lara goes, Hey, look, I, I'm, I'm going <coughs> now, uh, to another place with my friends. Um, text me and we can hang out another time. Yeah, yeah, yada. Like, oh, okay. Seemed a bit weird. Lara knew what was going on. Lara never messaged me back ever again. Oh, no. After this. Oh, man, ruined the good um, one. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, the devil uh, certainly uh, didn't know, but she's the devil and... It didn't matter anyway because for exactly. the next almost year after that, would you know fuck around were on and off. It was just that was a whole nightmare. But that's a whole nother story. Um, but yeah, so the, I want both of them. I was juggling between the two until they ran into each other, and then yeah, one of the Lara obviously the nice one realized. I did run into. I don't think I've ever said. I did run into Lara one more time. Uh, a year later, uh, it was Oct- I can tell you exactly when it was. November 2016, 2017, November 2017, um, 1955, <laughs> uh, because it was my friend Shannon's birthday and me and a couple of the boys were having pre-drinks at a bar across the street, the Imperial Hotel, uh, across from Parliament in Melbourne. And we were, you must have been really keen on this Lara girl because this is a lot of detail here. No, I just remember every, I just remember places and shit. Like I, I could tell you any story. Right. I'm going to tell you where I could tell you exactly where I was for all these fucking stories. Um, and the Imperial is like a major, major fucking place. Uh, it was one of my favorite spots. And the reason I remember is because I could never go back there after this. I was like, fuck, this is fucked up the Imperial. Um, but I, she was a bartender there. Oh. So I go up and I'm like, oh, 
hi. <laughs> and then we, we had a fucking awkward exchange. <clears throat> and then I had the gall to try to text her while I was drunk that night. And she definitely oh, never replied to me again after that. Oh, um, but yeah. Oh, so, my boy Tyler. Yeah. So, oh, so nothing Tyler. ever happened with Lara. But that doesn't matter. But, and then I had to deal with the devil until mid-2017 uh, <clears throat> when I finally cut her out of my life completely and haven't talked to her ever since. Um, but, yeah. I think yeah, you should text, text her now. See what she's yeah, up to. Yeah, give her a shot. I still haven't. Hang on, hang on. Hey, hey babes. Just Imagine. wondering what you're up to. Just let us know on the show. Let us know on the show. It'd be a good comedy. Yeah. I think it'd be great. I, How are you spending your quarantine? What are you up to? <laughs> Give me I legitimately still have a number. Send, I, a, I just, send a cucumber emoji That's because we know good. that is the penis as well. Of course, yeah. I yeah, do yeah, still yeah. have a number. Yeah. Oh, that dude, I think we'll try that. that thing you put in a salad, yeah. Send that emoji. That, exactly, thing you put in a salad. Thing you put in a salad. James, um, have you got? <laughs> I mean, it, probably not too many nightclub stories, <clears throat> but just like anything that sticks out to you as, as like a strange experience. Well, you see, this is why we don't have a James's story segment or ever do on the <laughs> podcast because I don't have stories, and anything <clears throat> interesting is either vlogged or whatever else. Yeah. So I, I just, I just don't have any shit to talk about. Tell us about your workout regime. That's probably something. <laughs> yeah, people want to know. That's probably a bit of a right. People never stop into, asking me on Patreon. Shape, actually, in just about that. Days. I mean, tell us the secret. Yeah, well, I could secret. tell you right here and right now, but that would be ruining the secret. Yeah, you, you need to, to go, go over to, to patreon.com forward slash conversations. That's right. To Way. hear. Well, I mean, you could do that, but then you would never find out. And it's true. you're gonna you're gonna want to know this. It's crucial information. So I mean, go to as always. You know. I mean, I would. I'd consider if you aren't, you know, a dollar. Maybe a dollar fifty, nothing more than that. Um, yeah, you don't want to go too we, far. I already found out yeah. the secret to growing on YouTube from James, um, which is, you know, that was what he paid me to get on a real podcast for once with a real podcast host. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. I have a story which I haven't told. So, uh, Ooh, are, are we still doing okay. stories, or do you want to move on? No, go on. Stories, stories are always cool. good. That's what podcasts are built for. Good. So, yeah. Uh, some number of <clears throat> years ago, I can't remember. I did this road trip across America, right? And I've told a couple stories from this. I've told the uh, did you drive story. Yeah, um, uh, you've think, told one of the stories on Kill Connor Club. Yeah, I think I told that one on Kill Connor Club. I think I told the uh, the similar one on that same day uh, at the the conversations meetup featuring the four pillars, which oh, is yes, cool, yes. where we did the in person <laughs> meetup. That's where um, I was. Yeah. That was but, his official title. <laughs> right, and a lot of cool things and weird things happened, and I completely forgot about this one because. It was in Roswell, New Mexico, <clears throat> which we had to go to, right? Because it's, you know, Roswell, New Mexico. Don't bother. Shit hole. Uh, literally <laughs> nothing there. <laughs> literally nothing there. The best thing, the most interesting thing that happened in Roswell was that one thing. And it probably was a weather balloon. Like, that's the, the vibe of this place. And so, because we're road tripping and we started on the East Coast. So, Roswell's most of the way to California, right? We're running lower on funds and we're doing the motel thing, right? Staying at pretty much the cheapest place with space. And uh, the proper dive places. I don't think we saw cockroaches more too many times, but, you know, that kind of gaff. Right, right. And we heard this, uh, some noise outside. And these dudes, like, two doors down from us had, like, pulled up a couple of pickup trucks. And I guess the the guy they were hanging out with like lived here at the motel and they had like oh. barbecues and stuff off the back of the pickups and shit and they were just hanging out drinking beers and um you know i put my head out and i'm like you know just to see what's going on and uh one of the guys turns around and completely not what i was expecting it's like oh you know we're we making too much noise i'm like no, no no you're cool and obviously heard my accent and we got talking so i pull um, my two mates out from the room we just start hanging out with these dudes sharing some beers and, and chatting and this one guy is a good few beers in, you know, like you can see the empty cases behind and probably yeah. on some other stuff. Oh. And dude's hilarious, right? He's just, you know, that guy who is is absolutely wasted, but somehow that bit of the brain that like just comes up with random stuff is connected enough to his mouth still and he's still like sober enough that he can form a sentence and a thought, but he's gone. Do you know the... Yeah. You know, like oh, if he yeah, has one no, more beer, like if he has one more, he's gonna pass out. But where he is, he's in that <clears throat> golden zone of Good bullshit. Spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so this guy starts talking to us about um, about people don't know, right? But but Roswell, it's not just the aliens; it's the ninjas and ninja aliens. What? I swear to God. <laughs> yeah. The so, ninjas. Tell me more. <laughs> uh, and how they li- hooked up with the aliens, and no one ever thinks about this. <gasps> 
yeah. Uh, wait, then, so as in ninjas hooked up with aliens? That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ninja aliens is the thing. No one, no one's asking these questions, man. That, no one's. Asking that's true. No one true. is asking Nobody those questions. Asking <laughs> that, yeah. No he one is, is asking. He is, I'd completely he is forget. <laughs> I'd wasn't there a guy that. that asked it? Are you sure? That, I swear there was a guy that asked it one time, right? Wasn't there a guy? This or dude, am I apparently. Mistaken? <laughs> this guy. And I'd forgotten about this story because I was just thinking like, oh, what's some funny stuff that I know? And the only other nightclub story I have is, is Ed and the Carrot, which I think we've told before as well. Have we? I think we might. We can do that after if we really yeah, want we'll see. to. Yeah, we're gone. And so this guy is like, is talking for ages and one of his buddies, which I catch because I'm only like a beer or two and he chucks something up onto the roof because it's kind of a dump and presumably a couple of them live here and the, they know the owner or something who came, the manager I think came by and, and like had a beer before he left. Um, it was a weird place, man. It, it tiny it Sounds it. <laughs> and so his buddy chucks something up on the <clears> roof, right? Like a little bit of rab- uh, rubbish, like maybe some cardboard or something or, or an empty beer box because, you know, they're kind of they're rednecks. And uh, and the guy just stops, looks straight up, and then looks dead to me in that like, like I said, you know, that wasted, serious stare. Like, oh, I got, like, trying to have that shared thought. Like, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Right. And, I'm and obviously at this you're guy, not. Like, obviously you're not. No, <laughs> you're not. I'm looking at him like, no, I'm not thinking what you're thinking. He's not getting that I'm not thinking what he's thinking. I have to say like, <laughs> what's up, man? And he's like, up, man. No one ever looks up. Right. That's where the ninja aliens are. You got to look up, man. He spent like the next five minutes talking my ear off about how you need to look up the importance of looking up, especially obviously in oh. Roswell, where the ninja aliens are. <clears throat> That's um, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for and, famously known, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and for some reason, and I guess it was just the, how passionate he was about this. Every now and again, I do find myself looking up and thinking about this guy. Uh, he thinking sucked like, you in. No, it's, it's so dumb. And I'm <laughs> he talking got about you. like he fucking got you. I do find myself, like, I'll be walking around somewhere, just, just you know, you know how sometimes a memory just comes to you, like, out of nowhere? Yeah. And this mm-hmm. dude staring at me like, no one ever looks up, man, which I'm pretty sure we do uh, <laughs> fairly often. Um, and I'll just, like, look up and look at the houses and be like, oh, yeah, that guy was full of shitting off his nut. But, <laughs> but, and, but it happens probably, like, two or three times a year. I'll be like, look up at the house roofs and be like, yeah. That guy was was a fucking crackhead. Yep, he's a he's an insane person. Yep, that's yeah. right. That is confirmed. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> it was it was just such a weird exchange, and that was the only interesting thing that happened the entire time we we're in we we're in Nevada, actually, other than Vegas. Well, that's at least something you you learned from that trip that there's no reason to ever go back there. No, in fact, the, the <clears throat> most interesting thing about Roswell is like that movie pool. Oh yeah, everything yeah. else is tedious. It's it's such a <laughs> trash place. Skip it. The only times, because this was more like a, it sort of like shook you, kind of. I, that's the vibe I got from it. The I only wouldn't time say something shook, like that, but just like one of those weirded out. Not even weirded out, just like this dude's an actual crackhead. Like I thought he was just drunk and, and hanging out with his mates, but I'm pretty sure he was a crackhead. It was a good night though. It, was, it sounds good. We didn't get robbed. One... We coulda. Yeah, you could have definitely and have your organs harvested or something like that. Um, <laughs> I have only have this one sort of very short story on whatnot where I was working at a, a pub uh, a while back when I was in university and stuff like that. And I met a random girl. Obviously, girls come to pubs and stuff like that. And she came up to me and she took a liking to me. And she decided that she was going to wait until my shift was done and then meet me outside, which was a bit weird and obviously stuff like that. But I was a young, horny university student. So I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. You know, any girl comes along, I'll, I'll give her the I'll give her the old Pringle can, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, why Once not? Why not? You, can't you, you mean the old mind. Mentos packet? Yeah. The old <laughs> Smarties tube fun size? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> When I said Pringle can, I mean the short one, the really fat one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for your fucking That's chode. It. The yeah, chode. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then um, she came along and she waited for me afterwards. And it seemed, I guess maybe I was had blinders on. She seemed completely normal other than the fact that she waited for me after not agreeing to wait for me or anything like that afterwards. She seemed normal, she took me back to her place. And this was the most scared I've ever been in a sort of like a possibly sexual situation. <laughs> with, with, okay. With... <laughs> We'd started, like, you know, talking and, like, kissing and stuff like that. And it got to a point where, like, she, I took off her shirt. 
And she started unbuttoning mine because I was wearing a shirt. From please work tell me she has a penis. Holy fuck! Please tell me she has a penis. <laughs> <laughs> and it's bigger than Eddie's. That's the. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> I'll stand it. How can I have sex with you now? It's bigger. Oh my yeah. god, that's yeah. terrible. Before if he had a smaller fine. one, I would have. Got, I would have done yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would have done it. I would have done it. But no, I can't yeah. do that now. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, so it's like getting to the unbutton stage, and she was like basically topless. We're kissing, and then randomly she stops dead. Grabs me by both sides of my head with her hand, just sort of like slap. We are not having sex tonight, and I was like, "Um, <laughs> wait, hold on a minute." Um, and I'm like looking around me, sort of like, "What am I? We, we're in your pal- your yard. You told me to take you to your house. We're half naked, like kissing each other. What? What do you mean? What was the? What was the intent here? What was going to be happening? But the thing is, she would." Oh, while I was trying to process that, she shook me again and like holding my head from both sides with her hand, looking at me dead in the eye, and she's like, "We are not having sex tonight." Seems like a challenge. <laughs> no, I'm just trying. Obviously, I'm just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just a joke guys. I'm sorry. I'm so, sorry. Sorry. So, right, well, challenge accepted. That's Bend like over. Those, that's like one of those. Like I thought we were on the same page, and we were just different books. We yeah. are just yeah. different books, you know. Uh, it's just a simple mistake. It happens, you know. I mean, one person calls it rape, one person calls it surprise. Oh, okay, oh, come man. on. That's, 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 that's there. And we you're taking it. Line. Line. I was the on the line, and then you the just were like, you know doctor, what? You now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I was shook to my core because she she had a really tight grip on my head. Not I thought, yeah, head. she had a really my, tight grip. Oh, sorry? Head, right? I just, <laughs> no. Not that head tight, the other head, just the one slightly higher. Slightly yeah. higher. to work on this fan fiction a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> You've never she kissed a girl, like, Eddie. What are you talking about? I mean, I hope to one day, you I've know, my dad said sex. he's going to get me get me one. <laughs> but fuck, that shook me to my core, and I still remember it to this day. And I would love to, I mean, I don't want to ever, ever see her again and ever talk to her ever again to even ask this question. But if somehow I could get the information to be like, what was going through your mind then? What Wait, was... what happened? No, she just said, we're not going to do that. And I was and like... And then what happened? Well, yeah, I what sort of actually went... happened? Because I was scared, I was just sort of like, okay. And then she sat next to leave, me. Or um, did you stay there? What, like, no, how, I... did you, how did you get out? How did that you was... get out? So I had my... Obviously, I drove to work and I had my car with me and whatnot. So I, I was just sort of like, we stopped. She sat next to me and I was like... I did up a few buttons and I was like, okay. Um, I guess... I'll see you around then. And then she didn't protest anything. She just said, yeah, give me a call. That's so like, fucking weird. That is the oddest fucking interaction That's ever. Right? That's scuffed, man. There's no... Why oh, would that just... happen? That makes no sense. It makes no sense. I mean, if it was like, oh, she went, you know, feeling and then didn't feel anything. And then she went, actually, we're not going to have sex. Then I'd be like, all right, I get it. I get your Did point. Did she have a look of disappointment when she was trying to unbutton you? Like she caught a glimpse and was like, oh, no. No. I did hear her say, oh, God, not another small one. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so we have no idea what it was then. Yeah, no idea whatsoever. It was really the creepiest thing ever. And it's because she sh- she held my head and said that, like, looking at me dead in the face, maybe like that's three weird... inches away from me. <laughs> that's so odd. I was like, that's no, weird. Why did she I'm... wait for you then? What, I that's feel so like odd. I... Right. Yeah, that's that's so weird, man. What, what was extra weird was that she was there with like a <clears> friend <throat> and whatnot. And I think like a, a week later, her friend also came in and her friend was almost trying to be like, so uh, I hear you didn't like call my friend. And I'm like, yeah, you obviously she, don't know the whole story. She's but a nutter. <laughs> yeah, uh, I just haven't had the time. She's like, yeah, she spoke about you. You should call her. You should call her. She seems <laughs> nice. You know? she's like, I'm, uh, like, <laughs> I'm in it for the long <laughs> haul. It's like, hey, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll make sure I do that. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get right on that as soon as I'm done with my shift. Completely. Oh, that's like those girls on Tinder that have in their bio no one night stands. Like, hey, fuck off. Got a hinge in this. You're on <laughs> Tinder, yeah. I'm just, guys, You're I'm just Tinder. joking. I don't think women. <laughs> I, I, I respect women. Sure you do, sure you do. Yeah. Keep telling yourself that title. He's yeah. not sexist because there's only one gender, women or objects. <laughs> exactly. There you go. That was a direct quote from Tyler right there. Direct no, yeah, quote yeah, yeah. from Tyler. I did say that. That's true. <laughs> I'm just thinking, did she maybe lose her bus pass and you were the lift? Oh, it could have been, could have been, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. No, At like, least if she'd have said, ah, oh, to be honest, I lost my bus pass. But <laughs> then the you'd be like, is, oh, thank fuck. 
if it no. was something like that, she would have been like, because you, you've seen girls do this, right? Like you get to the door and when the, the bait has just sort of like fallen into that trap, it's just like, oh, well, it was nice seeing you close the door, slam, lock yeah, yeah, yeah. it, and then done. Never happened to But me. we got inside. Sure, yeah, sure, right. Yeah, Tyler, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But we got all the way in and got so close. And I was just like, oh, oh, uh, what? All right, okay. Um, I'm gonna head on home now. That is weird. That's proper mixed signals, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's a mixed one. Can I uh, slightly divert the topic to something that isn't sexual related and isn't uh, like you mean a story boring and whatnot? Yeah, yeah it's cool. Uh, we'll, we'll edit it out at the end. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I had a. I, it's actually a story, but I had a bit of a, a fucking. I had a run in with an idiot, basically, an absolute genuine mm. idiot. And you guys can tell me if this right. person is a certified moron. You don't need to tell them about our recording, bro. It's like yeah, I was, oh, yeah. Didn't want to say it was your name. I didn't want to say that, but yes, it's Sheps. Um, no. <laughs> So I Argos around uh, in the UK, for those of you guys that aren't around here, it's a place where you buy electrical stuff, you can buy all kinds of th shit there and whatnot, it's a decent place. Um, I bought a router for my house because the one that you get from Virgin is honestly crap and it can handle about five devices, after that it's just connectivity issues and whatnot. So I bought a dedicated one, cool. I bought one online, but it said it was going to be like three days to get to me. And then after purchasing, I realized there's one in my local shop that's like five minutes away. And I was like, ah, oh, crap. Well, I need it now because this is really fucking annoying. So I'll go buy that one and then return the other one when it comes. I was like, cool, no problem. I went to pick it up from the store. And the girl goes to me, here you go, here's your thing, no problem. And I pulled out the receipt for the one I bought previously because... I paid in cash so I could get the money back straight away. And I was like, here's the, I would like to refund this if that's okay. And she's like, okay, where's the item? And I was like, this is the item. It's the same thing. I just, I got a little bit impatient. I needed it right away. And she's like, oh, but this, I need the, I need the one that you bought. And I was like, yeah, but it's the same, it's the same thing. It's the same router, exactly the same thing. I just, it's just bought in a different way. And I'd prefer to get the cash back right now if that's okay. She's like, no, 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 I need the, the one that you bought, even if it's the same thing. I'm like, wait, <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. Can you explain that to me? She's like, no, I, I need the one that you bought. It's, the, it's exactly the same thing. I wonder, look, it, on the one hand, like devil's advocate, maybe if she's like, look, the system won't let me refund you for the same item, but if it doesn't scan in for something... If she explains that, then you're like, oh, okay, I see that. That, that sucks. Possibly. But, yeah, possibly. If it's just like, no, I can't. <laughs> it's, well, the thing is that I saw these boxes. They were exactly identical. In fact, I had to take it home after the end of the story. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, I took it home and they were exactly the same. But I went, okay, one second. And I went out of the store, walked back in, and I was like, this is the one that I bought f three days ago. Can I refund it? And she's like... I saw that you just went outside and you didn't you didn't go get the one. I was like, oh, oh, God God damn, why can you like, not be what? better at this though? Open just, the boot and like just right. pretend like you swapped it. And then I, that's the thing. I did. I went out the store, round the corner. I'm no longer in her view. Came back and I'm like, here is the one I brought from home. I live like right round the corner. Please refund me. And she's like, I don't believe you. I'm like, this. What the. <laughs> what am I asking for here? Also, what, hold, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why does it matter if she believes you? Right! This like, isn't like, oh, you're the police and oh, well, I've just murdered this person. Actually, I didn't murder them. Well, we don't believe you because the evidence says so. But this this is the fucking returning a router. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's the dumbest thing to die on. Like, she's going to die on this hill to not give me the refund. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I have to go home. And then what? Like, I, I'm gonna have to go to like another store or something or come in when she's not there or something like because she I'm sure if I came the next day she'd be like but is this the one that you you bought two days ago or was the one you bought five days ago I, I don't know <laughs> at this point I don't remember I can't remember what story you're telling like, fucking just refund me <laughs> just refund me the fucking she was the stupidest thing and she did it with a smile on her face the entire time I'm like am I am I Am I not visibly pissed off right now that you're not doing this simple task for me? Did you pull and the a thing is, and ask to speak to a manager? 
<laughs> well, she, didn't did, she pull, did she pull the ultimate like I am the manager <laughs> I am the manager the thing is I've worked I've worked in curries before right so it's the same essentials thing you sell electricals people come for refunds some people are assholes some people are genuine assholes all the time and I love to give shit to assholes when I can tell they're being like entitled and whatnot yeah. when they're like oh I'm the customer though it's like yeah but I don't give a shit so <laughs> you know fuck off yeah yeah but I, all I was like, that I understand, and I didn't, the, my first impre- uh, reaction was to explain to her, it's like, yeah, I bought this one before, so I wasn't trying to pull the wall over her eyes or anything like that, I bought this one before, I just want to get this one refunded, so I'll get the cash back straight away, is that okay? She's like, no, I need the one that you bought that day. I'm like, oh my god. And yeah, that's the, uh, the moron that I encountered, and um, yeah. That's I kind of think you're wrong. Yeah, well, go on, then, go on then. tell me, tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me. <laughs> go on. I'd love to know why I am wrong if I am wrong. But God, that was that was my stupid moron story. That kind of got to me. When was that? That was fairly recently, maybe like a a week or two ago. No, actually, probably about a month ago. Something like that. Tell me what happened. Fairly trying recently. to get ships a microphone. What happened? What did something happen? I was told it was a nightmare for Eddie to get Sheps a microphone during this lockdown. No, that was a uh, that's uh, Ethan. Ethan's saying that he's having a problem with his microphone. No, and yeah, it's well, a nightmare, microphone. nightmare. No, to get that's not what I'm hearing at all. I'm talking. Th- I've heard about Ethan. That was a whole different thing. I thought I was told there was something that went down with you guys, not Eddie. I'm not 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 Ethan. I don't know. Is, is that wrong? I can't got, fuck, maybe. We've got, got some fucking know. fake we got news. We, we've got Although, some fucking Hillary Clintons in the community. Right? <laughs> Where did you hear it? Show us the emails. Um, I saw like Ben and stuff talking about on Discord. Oh. Did you see that though? Yeah. Or not? Are you, yeah, Are you, you could, sure that's what you saw? It might have been Ethan. Where was or, it? In the As Always chat. You've been hung upside down too long. I mate. don't know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Never mind then. Don't which, fucking worry about as it. As it's come up organically both the links to the discords the four pillar discord which is a hectic crazy place to be it's very stressful you don't want to be there but the discord for the conversations guys who are some of the epic most epic bros on the internet well the seven Um, people that's a great place easy to kind of sift through uh yeah yeah, it's it's (laughs) well organized people People are concise they're to the point there's a good sense of community they they are concise because there's short messages once a month (laughs) (laughs) both of these discords are excellent they'll be in the comments and the and the podcast notes and stuff honestly no joke completely free it's a great place to to hang out especially now on the lockdown um but so with the with this on this note so i didn't know apparently we had drama for the mic um i know that Ed ordered it because he's, you know, sort of dealing with the Patreon stuff. And it, and it came out of those guys, the amazing super bros over on patreon.com forward slash conversations who bought this stuff for us so we could bring podcasts to There's you a lot of them too. And that's a crazy part. Yeah. A surprising yeah. amount, right? Like, yeah, we're really. So this is no joke. Gifted, when yeah. we did our like conversations day, I said to Ed, look, if we get five guys at $1, I know it's not a lot, but it's kind of symbolic. We'll call, let's call that a success because, you know, we, we've only just started up again and. You know, it's five guys at a dollar, and we'll we'll call it good. Now, if we get ten guys at one dollar, like that's a fucking success. And within before the stream ended, we had fifteen dudes and multiple guys at the twenty five dollar tier. Like it, it's absolutely mm. insane. It's been incredible. Um, this like they community, guys. Yeah. like no joke, has multiple times blown me away. And the number of times it comes up organically when we're just chatting. Like me and Ed will be like, oh, did you see so-and-so said this on the Discord? Or like, oh, someone left this message on the Patreon. Like it's it's, it's pretty cool. Plus some of these guys are super talented. D made my, um, the the thumbnail for my Last of Us yeah. Quarantine stream. <clears throat> he put your talented. face. He, he, he's got a really good knack for doing really good photoshops. And he did your face on Joel. He's done a ton of me and like, I think he did Geralt, uh, and, um, Geralt he did uh, Superman, he did, uh, um, what's the thing's name as well, from uh, Once Upon a Time in words. Hollywood. I don't know, Leo? The other guy, the other famous one. Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt, that's it. Brad yeah, Pitt just right the, the little guy, easy to forget that name. <laughs> um, but no, honestly, yeah, he like, did a bunch. there's really some good. really talented dudes, and, and even the guys that aren't like, you know, Photoshop wizards, like there's some really interesting folks here. It's been a really incredible experience. But, that- go on. That, I was just going to say, that's the thing that blows me away the most about the community is the things you do, is when you get involved in YouTube, you expect to make some podcasts, you expect to make some videos. It's the things that don't you don't expect that is the coolest thing, right? It really um, is. It's the yeah. things that blow you away. And when mm. I 
tell a story and then there's like a meme created about it a photoshop like poster for a clubhouse episode for captain bob stelio when there's an animated Mm. clip from a story i told um like just things you don't expect to happen uh an out of context meme page about you um Mm. fox vader mario does oh my god God. that's insane insane. there's so many things you just don't expect to see and that's the coolest stuff about doing this like when we get a big guest on the podcast that's awesome but that's what we're trying to do that's what we aim to do that's our goal that's just us doing what we set out to do it's cool in another way but the I've, i've always found the thing that blow me away are the things you don't expect Absolutely. Yes, hundred mm. percent. It's yeah. just what happens when you have, uh, you have obviously we are souls on the internet talking, right? We're just idiots chatting True. shit and whatnot. And then suddenly these awesome people just get together and they're like, "Oh, we love these guys so much that we want to do something." And I'm just like, "Wow, like really? God, you guys are really touching us." Do you know a, what it is? I cool think way. this is except the, not physically. That would be illegal. Oh yeah, d- d- not yeah, in that way. Like Anyone that. that's below eighteen years old cannot touch yeah. us. No, but above eighteen us. years old, go for it. Oh, above eighteen, they're all game. It's all game, mate. Yeah. I think yeah. this is uh, it's the Florence Nightingale syndrome. <clears throat> is that like they see us and they're like, these guys are deeply broken. I can fix this. You know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know. Thank you guys for help, trying to fix us. Thank anyway, you. Thank you so quick summary on the mic stuff. I didn't know <clears throat> apparently there was drama getting here, but. It arriving because you know we had set up because I'm a I'm a basically a caveman, um, <laughs> and basically Ed had to fix everything for me and get it working. And then we chatted in. So I live in this like small little like flat complex type deal, on private parking and stuff. And we were chatting on the way out because we're you know mates and we'd been right next to each other figuring out the acquaintances is rather what I would yeah, say. I, but yeah, I, go on, man. mate. I was staying in character. Fucking oh, okay, hell. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you know, you know, work acquaintances and. Um, I've been getting filthy looks ever since um, and hearing like um, every now and then I go past this one window people are like this guy doesn't know how to fucking social distance and shit and <laughs> oh like, shit yeah like, it's my best friend and we spent the hot we spent like two hours in my flat next we to each other we weren't that five, close to each other there was five like... minutes in the fucking <laughs> car park and I'm getting filthy looks and have been for a week <laughs> Oh, from this fuck. one flat yeah so there you go that's the best that's the most drama that I can think of shit well I tell you, wow. I have to say as well, thanks to the patrons as well, because like probably you guys don't see it because we don't advertise it as much. Except I did do with the microphone and whatnot, but like we, I had a lot of the equipment as well for conversations, <laughs> and we upgraded the microphone and stuff like that at the beginning, and it was kind of silent. But we got Shep's uh, an Elgato capture, we got him a new microphone, we got him a whole setup and stuff over there, and that's all thanks to you guys, and we get to make more awesome content for you, and it's, it's. You guys are seeing it, maybe not right in front of your faces, but yeah, thanks to you guys, that's what uh, what we've managed to do. Another thing I wanted to bring up as well, you guys brought up in a previous podcast, it's the dream of one day having a, as always, entertainment studio. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. The dr- yeah. I wouldn't call it a dream, I'd say a goal because it's going to happen. A goal. That's the goal. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, I and mean, th- we've got our own shared office. Like, let's just quickly whip them out and measure real quick. True, we have let's, an uh, office. We have an office here. And we it go has to work desks. together. It's got desks. It's got multiple screens. Only one computer, but multiple screens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Multiple screens, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you know, so. so we're a little bit <laughs> further ahead on this goal. That quite, let's, let's be honest. Yeah, we're quite true. a lot further ahead. We're like, yeah, we're yeah. deep in the distance, you know, like we are Batman, right? And you are the kid, you're Jim Gordon's son flipping through comics, you know? <laughs> yeah, you're right. In, you're, you're somewhat loosely connected to the world. But not even in the same league, you know. Yeah, yeah. I do understand what you're saying. Now, yeah, can yeah. I ask? Can I ask a question? Go yes. ahead. How Just much money has that cost you compared to how much profit you make from the work you're doing? I mean, would I mean, you say you're at a important. loss? Would you say you're at a massive loss? <laughs> because you see, say. James and I make what With we call taxes and everything significant or? profit, but in- that's VAT? just us. Yeah. You know? Yeah, including delivery and whatnot. I mean, do you can you put a price on enjoyment? You know, well, you well, on, you can certainly put on, a price on business, and that's what you're talking about. Here. <laughs> uh, then why don't you mind your own? Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, fair enough. And you know what? Fair. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to bring it up was because uh, me and Sheps have had, obviously, like in all seriousness, we're a lot further away from any, even anything like that, right? We've got our shared office quote-unquote thing going on here. Not as and far as you'd think exactly. since your own bias, but yeah. 
Uh, yeah, exactly, right. But um, we, we've been thinking and we're like, God, wouldn't it be cool one day to have an, an office that we go into that we go, okay, when we're here, we make work and, and we can constantly content create around the clock and like go home at five or whatever it is. And we have a, a chill space. That <laughs> you we think you're going home at both. five? I was going to say, <laughs> it's Mate, true. It's can true. You get to work. Proper imagination. Us, us going home at half five, uh, five, half five. Mate, we're not doing that now. <laughs> like, um, yeah, that's and, a good point. And you know. as Tyler mentioned, the, the the profit margins, you know, the, those numbers could could be uh, in, improved just a tad. Um, a little bit, yeah. So I mean, if we can go home at five, like hell's yeah, hell's yeah, yeah that's the dream. <laughs> Well, I was thinking, like, we, we talk about, like, wouldn't it be cool? We have this, we have an office that we go to every day and we, we meet up and we start really making cool content, quality stuff that we can put out. And wouldn't that be so awesome? And it's like, ah, oh, so pie, the eye in the sky sort of dream and whatnot. And then you guys brought it up on that podcast and was like, wow, wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be fucking awesome? And I didn't know that you guys had this this dream. Obviously, this year it's gotten very serious, and you guys have vocalised it a lot more. You know, moving to as always entertainment and uh, Tyler with the dreams of like, you know, that sorry the the goal of actually like getting down and taking YouTube as serious as you are now, and James being on board and being your your like your your other your other half, your rock and whatnot to get through this and whatnot. Does Elva know? <clears throat> Uh, Elva especially, especially doesn't ask questions especially doesn't ask questions yeah, 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 yeah. you know and it, it occurred to me and I wanted to ask you guys this might be I mean this could definitely be edited out if you don't want to answer anything like this but I was going to say I love that you think I wouldn't awesome. answer like as if I, if I wouldn't <laughs> don't feel comfortable like, he's a scared no. little bitch well, you know, so, yeah. James is just going to he's handling the PR he's like don't answer that we have no, uh, no comments this time <laughs> You don't have to answer that question. That's not right. He's like his attorney. Wouldn't it be awesome to one day have this joint sort of massive studio? Because your plan is to come to England and to move here one day. Yeah, I mean, I mean, awesome if we survive this, this fucking apocalypse, like uh, yeah, yeah, things have sort of changed in, in the now. last sort of month. But yeah, I know what you're saying. If we but survive, yeah. wouldn't it be awesome to have this joint sort of studio? Where we could all, obviously, we all pitch in our equal thing, we'll work that out and whatnot. But wouldn't it be awesome to have this great studio of great content creators making awesome stuff together? Wouldn't that be, it just made me think, when you said it, I was like, God, I never even thought about adding those guys to the dream that we have. Yeah. And that, and suddenly it was just amazing. I was like, why wow, this just, could be amazing. Why did you price us out of our own dream? You said great content creators. Like Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, <laughs> fuck, sorry about that. But honestly, genuinely, 100%, all seriousness, joking aside, how do you guys feel about the sound of that? Well, I mean, I, I'd say with the way our business has worked and the way, you, like you just brought up, the dream uh, that we've been talking about, we've been vocalizing, has been pretty much me forcing it on James as a dream. Um, that's <laughs> oh, yeah, kind yeah, of... James is like, can I stay at home? Can I stay at home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I like, I assume James is cool with this dream uh, that I've been spouting off to him. Um, but we'd obviously only do it if it was obvious, financially doable. And But that's the goal and that's yeah. where we're heading towards. Like, we've had the biggest... Um, this is our biggest Patreon month uh, ever. It's been our biggest 24 saw, hours yeah. on Patreon uh, ever. Um, we've had almost 10 new patrons in the last 24 hours. Um, and we're over 200 and there'll be 300 by the end of the year. And we're growing and growing and growing. So my goal's um, in 2025 uh, to, to have that as a studio. So in, f in four and a half years. Um, and that's, to me, 100% doable and, and is going gonna, is gonna to happen. Um, that's I think so. in my yeah, head. Sure. And I think me when i came to the uk and james and i got together and we worked on this project we had the biggest month of growth on patreon and and podcasts and what we've done ever uh, it was a clear indication it was it? a clear indication but it's also an indication of we could just do regular shit we could do a vlog and that vlog is going to get way more views than a vlog i did by myself or james did by himself because james and i together equal money people like, are that's, interested in you guys like well, people are people like are interested in relationships and friendships. So, um, 
it just it just was so clear from that and and seeing the community and what impact we've had it was a no-brainer um that we keep this going and we step it up and we've been stepping up year after year after year and we keep growing and growing and growing and um we both have our own roles in this too and and i think the bigger we get the more defined that'll become uh mm. james is is in a lot of ways the face of it all and i'm just the one pushing it um <laughs> and you're pushing and him from the rear yeah from, yeah, yeah i'm right standing there, behind does him he and push just, back <laughs> He no, not back usually. A bit. <laughs> no, usually he's, he's, he puts he's, a little bit of ass into it. He he's pretty fucking smart and good at what he does. So I don't like if he tells me no. I think we should probably do this. I ninety nine point nine percent of the time agree and listen to what he has to say because um, I kind of respect the fuck out of what James thinks yeah. uh, about um, business and YouTube and 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 content and things like that. Um, he's proven that he understands it. I mean, the guy's insanely huge. I think he's on I'm track just to really lucky, actually. I think I just, uh, you know, I do random things, and uh, sometimes so you're not works, actually it's like, talented. It's like putting a saying. bunch of equations into a computer. Sometimes you'll, you know, it'll work out right. So I actually uh, have a. I think you're selling yourself doesn't. short. I think you're selling yourself short, mate. I don't well, think well, you know well, we don't use the S word around here. I, I, oh, sorry. Yeah. There's we're two both short people. <laughs> we perfectly. <laughs> we're both a perfectly that. reasonable height. Anything above about five foot's just showing off, and we're you're both just, well above. <laughs> yeah. so. yep. Slightly vertically exactly. challenged. That's what we call. That's how we. As we're doing business talk, though, I am genuinely curious because James normally quarter one of the new year is like apocalypse. Channels dip down, but we've had quarantines and shit Mm -hmm. um how's that by by the way is it me or is it crazy that like six or maybe seven weeks ago was when we did the australia stream that was not that long ago does that not feel like only six weeks does Mm. that yeah does that not feel like it was two years more than that maybe eight two and a half months ago was it when was it It was mid it was the start of january and we're now at the end of the mid mid february right no it wasn't i'm pretty sure no it wasn't yeah no it fucking wasn't mate Go on, on YouTube. I'm going to go check. Yeah, so go on YouTube. Either way, it was some small number of weeks ago. It feels like a couple of years ago, uh, which that just struck me. Um, how's quarter one been with like everybody locked down? How's that? How are you finding uh, YouTube's treatment? Well, I have to say, it is doing bits and noise. Uh, I do. I you know, uh, we don't we don't like no virus killing people, but if everyone can stay in their houses for you know a couple more months, that'd be great. <laughs> You know, yeah. It's Maybe just, even a couple more years. I'd be fine with that. Man's just, got a mortgage uh, to pay. <clears throat> you know, I can I confirm gotta, yeah, it was tenth of January. Oh shit! Still, yeah. how many weeks ago is that? Someone do basic subtraction. Nine it's going to be like ten weeks, weeks. nine weeks. Yeah. So, but does it not feel like two years? It does feel like it was a long time ago. We've does feel like it's a long time. We're ago. three months into twenty twenty, and uh, <clears throat> what a decade, man! What a decade it's been. <laughs> You know, it feels like it has been 2020 for a while. Yeah, it, does. Well, it feels like we're not making it out of the 2020s. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. No, we're Genuinely. stuck here. This is it. It's been a packed year. We had uh, World War Three kick off in, in in January. Australia burned down. Kobe died. We got a new uh, plane. Oh, Kobe! Oh my God! <laughs> yep, yep. <clears throat> fucking kill me now. What? A, what? A, I can't what wait till year. April when the fucking meteor is supposed to hit. Fucking end it. <laughs> right, it's like it's been, it has been one heck of a of a twenty twenty. No, Jesus Christ! Yeah, how packed. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's been strange. It's been strange. Um, but business, though, I, so, yeah, it's know, good. Well. I did say to James. I mean, this whole fucking coronavirus has been very good for business. Uh, so. Um, th- shout out to God for um, smiting <laughs> old people. Um, right, right, smiting yeah. old people. Oh, yeah, the tens of thousands yeah. of people have the died. Boomer the boomer remover, yeah. as we're calling this virus. There we go. Um, That's it. Yeah, um, just, like just I said, to, they'd only vote Trump, so yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. get rid of them. Yeah, exactly. It's a true fact. Just to, to be clear, Conversations Limited and all uh, derivative companies do not support these comments in any way. These are the thoughts and opinions of the, as always, uh, crew and do not necessarily represent the opinions of Conversations Limited or anybody over Conversations Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Other than the fact that uh, uh, patreon.com forward slash conversations, conversations is owned underneath the umbrella that is. <laughs> other than that, uh, yeah. Other than that. Um, to I go back and answer, and answer Eddie's question, though, I did want to address what Eddie was asking um, about a, a group studio. Uh, it's certainly, man, anything's possible. I, uh, that would be, that'd be amazing. Uh, to, I'd love, I'd love when I think about it. I'd love to think of um, when we have an as always entertainment studio that um, I would always think the four pillars would be there. 
Like, Mm -hmm. you know, that, that was always in my head that a place that George and Ethan can, can be at if that's, if that's what they wanted. Um, Mm -hmm. you know, George might want to do other things and, um, you know, in my head, there's, um, workstations for, um, content creation. Uh, there's a podcast studio. There's, you know, or there's a, there's a lot, there's a lot to it. Uh, in my head, and obviously it would start small and and grow and grow and grow to bigger bigger studios because eventually, uh, I want to be just me personally, not just making podcasts with James, not just making YouTube videos. I'd like to make short. We we did skits. I'd love to do short films and feature films yes, and things like that. Yes. Um, that's from that's from us. I'd love to help. Um, do go into different genres of online content creation, not just gaming videos. I'd love to help. Um go into a music side of things and, and, and music producing with those from, you know, indie, um, groups and, and singer songwriters that are on YouTube that are out there doing just covers or putting out the original songs to no one and, and building them up and getting people to produce music and representing them. I've got a 10 to 15 year plan in my head of what I want to be doing. Um, but, Ultimately, the like mothership and the foundation of everything for me is the podcast and the and YouTube. Um, and to, as always, entertainment, that umbrella is our podcast. That is Lasers, that is Tynamite. Those channels are the, are the foundation. The Four Pillars community are the foundation. Uh, and that has to... We can't do anything without that foundation. So what we've been doing yeah. for the better part of a decade is building that. And um, wherever we go next is solely because of that. So... Yeah, any certainly anything's possible. The specifics, for, if I've learned anything from from this business, it's that you, you can never be specific with specific with those goals when they become reality. Um, it's never how you imagined it. It's just that you set the goals. The journey is what's important about it, yes. and uh, yes. you'll get somewhere uh, with it all. So that, that's how I feel about it personally. Mm-hmm. So to I work with gonna... you guys would be amazing. I'd love that. But- that's the thing when you guys were saying it obviously like we've you've had your dream your your how it's gone in your head exactly how you put it out just now and i've had <clears throat> my own feelings and it's pretty much exactly the way that you described it the way i heard it on that podcast that time and then when you said and I just, it just popped into my head i was like wouldn't it be awesome because it would help us both get to the the goal of having a studio and having like as you said workstation and stuff like because we'd all obviously be equal and stuff like that with pitch in where it needs to be and split the cost however we work it out and then we'd be like we're a bunch of good mates content creators who know exactly what we're doing where we're going our goals are all under one roof i could only see that being an amazing sort of an amazing environment for all of us just to be like yeah fuck let's let's make a really cool podcast let's make a really cool uh like in life skit or whatever it is uh let's make a cool gaming series whatever it might be let's do this let's do that or it's the setup or, for the worst sitcom you've ever seen. <laughs> That's true. It could be. It could be. But yeah. I just imagine myself. I'm like, hey, Game of Ids, you want to come on a podcast Game, over here? Game of Ids. Bloody hell. And he's just like, yeah, yeah, Let's sure, mate. Let's get some mate. AC3 um, on. Yeah, get some AC3 on there. But yeah, that uh, was just my thought. And I thought yeah. that was that would be really, really cool. That would be, to me anyway, mm. to me. Obviously, it could be a hell for you guys. Yeah. Plus, you know, if, if, if Gerg doesn't want to be in, we'll just move Brett over right yeah yeah uh, and yeah. then there we go we're filling the slots you know yeah that's it uh, ultimately <laughs> yeah. you Rooster know teeth who? Uh, yeah. <laughs> ultimately my um goal would be to not be out the front of it all um by the end i'd want to be running he wants everything. to take it from the rear yeah yeah exactly yeah. right um to me james is is a front man james is is a is gonna be and is already you know a growing star on the platform uh, i want to oh, i want to be i want to be you know producing the content not necessarily like i i think i think james yeah, and i will you are I think, at the forefront of it though that's the thing like if you just if you if you were to just move to the back and start producing everything i feel like you'd we'd lose a lot of people that are into into our brand and that yeah no i totally but that's what i mean like i ultimately the bigger we get I think James and I will always be doing podcasts together, and I think I'll always be a part of what's going on. But I think I want to, I yeah, I, I I see what you're saying, James. I, I understand what you mean. I I don't mean disappear. I just mean like I I want my main role to be the the producing side of things, um, and 
and then can I ask James a question quickly? Of course. No, I sorry, represent okay, James and. Um, <laughs> And, is uh, Eddie no, super quiet for anyone else? He was. Yeah, actually, sorry, you just I did really move quiet. my mic a little I mean, bit away. It could just okay? be because he's a cuck. You know? It could be that. It could be <laughs> yeah. that. When he's in um, the presence ask, of, of alphas of as always. Exactly. I want to say, James, you really, really, yeah. really sell yourself short. What is the deal with that? Because to us, we don't the use outside, the S word. <laughs> for us <laughs> for us on the short. outside we see you as this like really cool like you know you're you're happy you're making exactly what you like you put a lot of effort into these big projects that they do phenomenally well that all right the, youtube is a bit of luck like you said and whatnot but you you put a ton of effort into these things and you produce this quality quality like sometimes you upload a video it's like ah oh, god this one this one tune is uh, being copyright strike i i don't want to replace it because it fits so perfectly and that's the quality that i'm trying to go for I'll, I'll sort something out and whatnot and you really really do put a lot of effort into your 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 channel your videos your your whole youtube career and it shows why do you why do you sell yourself short you're so you're such a big part of this all <clears throat> i don't know i i guess i don't know but i guess i'm just so used to being i guess to me i guess for a lot of people watching stuff that i do it's changed drastically but then for me it's just sort of what I do. I don't know. So I guess I don't see it in the same way that everybody else does. It's Damn. just sort of, I don't know. It's just sort of what I do. And sometimes I guess it, when I take a step back and look at it, I'm like, wow, I do make, you know, really great content. My channel's grown ridiculously since, you know, all those years ago. Um, but I don't know. I just, I, I guess, I guess I just don't see it like that because it's just something I've always done and something I'll always do. And so to me, it's just, I don't know. It's just what I do. So I guess I don't really think of it in the same way as everybody else. Uh, maybe maybe that's because you need to you're like in it you maybe that's the thing you're just you're in it so you don't really see it i will say somebody did ask how it was that uh that i i got to know you james because oh, they yeah. saw a comment on one of your videos like six or seven years ago whenever it was yeah yeah and i did respond to them and i told them exactly like what it was and how it how everything happened was that you were a young boy and you wanted to know how to become big on <laughs> big online and i said well come down here come just get on your knees very quickly and i'll give you the secret <laughs> the and now there you're for a reason you know <laughs> that was and now that's you're an nonce non shit right there and now you're a successful YouTuber, so that is a proof that what I did worked. You're the Harvey so, Weinstein of YouTube. I was just going to say, oh, God, That's not what you want. That's not oh, what you want God. to be compared to. Oh, Jesus. Oh. And branded. It's kind of fuck. <laughs> I will say, though, something about this, like, because I think we have kind of our own separate vibes, but it's pretty much a shared community at this point. Mainly us bringing new members to you. you know, yeah, true. Really pulling your weight, but um, yeah. the number of forensic fucking detectives that are subscribed to us, um, May, fucking whoa. Diogo went back to that EGX video where we met James in person for the first oh time God. and found that a fucking screenshot of me. Yeah. You've got like a shaved head and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, I'll tell you a true story. Basically, um, this when was that? Like fucking ages ago. So I was probably was I still working in Waitrose then? Like I, I was probably stacking probably. shelves or something. Yeah, right? it was 2014, I think. Yeah, so 2014, I would have just yeah. So I was probably still working in Waitrose, or maybe I was working in the bar. And I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna buy some hair clippers and save myself some money. If I spend 20 quid on hair trimmers, then like my haircuts are like. 10 to 15 pounds if i do it twice i'm like i'm in the money yeah and uh, i tried to shave uh, you know i to love do my own i love the logic with guys because it destroys you i'm like i would rather spend 50 dollars <laughs> every three weeks which i do on a haircut and look like a yeah. fucking you know smoke but show rather than oh, i'll save like, some money and look like pure shit I mean, so he was he was my thing i was that's like, 25 I'll pounds you're fucking retard relax <laughs> that's super expensive 25 pounds was, that's still expensive. my hair looks fucking godly so you go so fuck he was my thought he was my thought i was like instead of getting my hair cut once every month or two right i can get it cut once every six months uh, and in dumb, between dumb. all i do is touch up Dumb. So I, I basically still have the same hair, you know, quality haircut, but I just touch it up so it lasts longer still. <laughs> um, anyway, that's not uh, good. Logic. That that's no not, sense. that's no, how I was thinking. It was 2014. Doing. Fuck yeah. you. And, um, <laughs> and so I'm like, cool. I'm gonna do this. And started and fucked up bad, like pretty much straight away. And the only yeah. option was yeah, to take it all down. <laughs> So that's exactly why I look like thing. a white supremacist. I mean, I am. I share those <laughs> views, but I, yeah, do, yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. the haircut. 
Uh, oh boy. God. Have you guys ever tried to cut your hair like by yourself? Yes. No, because I'm not <laughs> fucking. No, not you. <laughs> I don't. I tried doing that. I was a. Uh, I went to Cyprus and I forgot to get a haircut before I went to Cyprus. And I was like, oh, my hair's so long and it's a fucking insanely hot country. Oh, my head's baking. I don't trust any of the barbers here though because they're all they're all Cypriots basically. <laughs> well, I'm like, you guys, but then again, they are the best barbers. I'm like, fuck, but I just don't trust them because they're not my regular one. And I got a pair of clippers and did exactly the same thing where I went too short at like right at the front. So I just went, all right, shave the whole thing off then. Oh my, oh my god. god. Yeah. Uh, I um nice. the only time that happened is my dad shaved my whole head when I was mm, nine years old, and I had like fucking when I was a kid I, my hair was like gone I, was, I looked like a fucking Lannister kid and <laughs> and my brother had head lice and I he got his head shaved um, and so my parents get rid of the lice and they couldn't for, my hair was long and golden and luscious and just phenomenal uh, and they yeah. were searching and they couldn't see anything but like we needed to make sure so they needed to cut it a little bit so cutting a bit and I was just really impatient I was like it's fucking Saturday I don't want to fucking sit here in the bath. Get my, I'm like, hurry up, dad. He's like, oh, fine. And just shaved my whole hair off. <laughs> oh. And I see myself in the mirror and just start crying. I'm like, why oh. did you do that? <laughs> yeah. So Mate, I was bald as well. Dad's. And he goes, you told oh, me to hurry God. up. And I'm like, fuck you guys. Except like, <laughs> I didn't say that then, That's but I say hilarious. it to them now whenever it's brought up. Yeah. This I can't is why say kids should my hair. Uh, but, you know. I'm running yeah, away, packing I've, your fucking favorite toys and shit. No, I've, I've done that. Your... I used to do that. I used to th- like I was in. Um, I used to love Tarzan and the Jungle Book, all those jungle animal Hells things. Hell yeah! And I oh, remember yeah, when I was three, my mum always tells a story. She goes, "When you were three, um, we had a fight, and you're just and I and I just go, I'm gonna run away and live like Mowgli." Um, yeah. And she goes, "Fine then." She opens I'm the door. Taking closes. Donatello and Leonardo, and and, and I'm going. The Ninja Turtles are coming with me. Oh, so funny. And then I um, and then I was let outside so I could leave and live like Mowgli, and I was just in my underwear like Mowgli would be. And then as soon as Mum closes the door, I turn around and just start crying. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought this out fully. A uh, default. Let's cry. Yeah, let's exactly. cry. That was pretty much James, what how's your how's your hair situation going now that we're in this lockdown? Because I saw oh, you're Jesus tweeting Christ, pretty much yeah. the same shit that I'm doing. <laughs> I had a bit of a fucking meltdown on Twitter because I was I was realizing like back in the day, back in 2016, I used to let my hair grow super fucking long, a ridiculous Mate. length actually. The fact yes. that anyone let that happen was an absolute crime. You need people um, in your life who love you, James. Yeah, clearly my parents didn't. Why so. didn't Elva, well, Elva do anything? You know. Why did Why didn't she say anything? Someone should have said something to me, but I, I don't know. <laughs> she knows what uh, she's told worrying, when he gets her like, from the coal mine, so it's just yeah, a exactly. Oh, yeah. She knows. Where's if my she, dinner, if bitch? She speaks up. She's getting a backhand. That's how it is when you're <laughs> when you're a man. That's the official <laughs> yeah, yeah. statement of as always. Yeah, that's what real men do. <laughs> That is what we do. But uh, yeah, I'm worried that, that, that you know I'm not going to be able to get my hair cut for a very long time. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I am going to end up, like, 2016, 2016 me. But it's it's more difficult when you've got to be on camera for things. It's like, what am I actually yes. supposed to do? Well, this like, is the thing. I, I'm i in the same spot as you, but I want to know what you're going to do about your beard. Because this is the first time that you've been able to grow a beard. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> Since what? 2016. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Are you going to have a grow? Are you going to go... He always has a beard, beard, though. And he can shave his own beard. beard. And I shave my beard. I don't get That's the one thing he doesn't need. Are you you going to let it grow out? Because basically, I'm doing this thing where I'm going to... I'm going to... I can't get a haircut. I'm going to grow my beard out as well. So I look proper, emerge from the quarantine and be like, oh, my beard, you know. Are you going to keep that going? Maybe. Maybe I'll just let it grow for as long as I can and just see where we get with it. But it gets to a point where it doesn't just grow and look long. It literally just is not like... I, I look like a, like a mess. I look homeless. It's a problem. <laughs> That's and that, when you like, need to trim. Like when I grow a beard, like I can't grow it and like have it keep growing but still look good. Like I get it gets to a length and it just it really is an issue. So I don't know. Maybe I could leave it, but it's gonna be if I end up doing a stream or I'm on camera, people are gonna be like, mm, I don't want to watch this. This is not good. Not nice. To I don't it. think that yeah. would happen, but yeah, I see what you mean. I think it's it'd not. be quite funny, especially it would be <clears throat> the the image that I've got of you is still the old 2014 pimple faced uh, little young lad, and he's like, oh, no, so he's never going to be able to grow a beard. And if I see <laughs> that on screen now of you just in a full like whack homeless beard, long hair, I'm gonna be like, wow, yeah, that's amazing. I mean, I've let it I've let it get to a bit of a length before, um, and it's yeah, it's it's not it's not too good when it gets that long, uh, but I might leave it. 
Maybe. I can grow really long hair and a really long beard and just really look fucking wild. Yeah, go full but, uh, homeless. Full, like, you think this is the apocalypse? I've been living in it since 2012. I'll just keep doing it. It'll bring yeah, people yeah. It'll bring people in. People will be like, oh, it's the guy that looks like he's, you know, really going for it. It'll be, you know, <laughs> it'll be interesting. Ed, I think you should grow your beard. Cause, Honestly, you know, genuinely, I'm going to do that. I've, uh, I, I didn't... I didn't. I missed time my haircut, and it was like when I should have gone was when the lockdown just started, and I was yeah. like, ah, crap. So it's at its longest, and I hadn't shaved as well in that whole time. I like, even trimmed my beard, so I was like, maybe I should just. I'm gonna let it go, and I am genuinely gonna just keep letting it go, and see how massive it can get, uh, and then do like a, a video when like the lockdown's lifted, just sort of like me emerging, looking at the like blocking the sunlight, like ah. What is that? Looking like a homeless man. And then I shaving with a single tear rolls down your cheek, you know. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's all going. <laughs> Facial hair's I... a weird thing, i got to be honest. No, you can't. We're still, talk- <laughs> we're still on beard talk. <laughs> I still have beards, boys. It is Tyler, weird. why don't you have a beard? I've never ever one. attempted to grow one, to Could be you? honest. Do you uh, have, like, uh, yeah, I gr- yeah, 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 yeah. But mine grows like... Have you seen Joe Dirt? Uh, no. No, no, that great, Australian thing. Do, no, do no, it's, saying, Dave, um, no, it's us, the greatest comedy a, of all time. Um, give us a, uh, a reference that, like, somewhere in the civilized world we would have seen it, you know? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at it. Oh, okay, I, see what, I see what you mean, right? Um, that's the joke I was used. It's not as bad, but, like, mine's more like I have, like, patches in, in, um, in on my, like, just lower lip that it do- the two patches on the other side that doesn't really grow. So it just grows in weird places. It's like I have like I have like, like, of I have like what patches. yeah 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 so I've got like two ball patches and I've always gone like I probably wouldn't look good I'm not even gonna try um, so I've never tried I'd love to see it um, I have, I have maybe I should try patches. maybe I should try now the apocalypse is happening maybe I should just give it a shot because I've always liked Do being cle- to me I I love being clean shaven like I think it looks I good hate it. I respect oh, I clean it. shaven yeah. but I I, not everyone it. looks good clean shaven after <laughs> you've seen him with Agreed, a beard especially yeah. James looks great with a beard please don't ever be clean shaven again. Um, Do you remember that time I did it? I did it like two five. years ago. Yeah. Uh, like for the first time in a while, I shaved it all off. And it looks absolutely ridiculous. Oh. You're like you're like big issue. alpha guy going for a shave. 15. You come go in for your shave with your beard. You come out like hi guys. Could you please it's not James. say big please. around the vertically challenged people, please? It's very offensive. We're the biggest men you've ever met, you motherfucker, and you know it. <laughs> yeah, will, good, sorry, I didn't mean to laugh that hard. I will I say <laughs> a couple of things. Like, I have ball patches, and they're right where, like, your mutton chops are supposed to meet, like, where your haircut would end. I've got two oh. ball patches right there. It's really annoying. Oh, that's but, weird. But being clean-shaven for me is such a fucking nightmare. Like, if I want to have a smooth face for, like, a day, like daylight hours i have to shave twice because it's just stubbly and it like i go gr- blue and shit like it's, it's you know thick the, and whatnot, the thing yeah. like yeah. I, I hate that yeah. and it's so expensive if you've got man amounts of hair ed we yeah, someone sorry, went back someone went back and found like a picture of you with your old like little line fucking hair oh, around yeah. the jaw that oh, was so great <laughs> that was, was the so worst <laughs> i have to say you know you're talking about james's hair why I didn't tell you, I have no idea. Yeah, but looking I, I back have to put on a bit it, of blame on you. I actually looked at it and went, why did I let him walk around like that? And not just for a little bit, for like years. That's Mate, hilarious. Guys in the Discord, like Zaheer and whatnot, he does not let it go. I like, I, I, even now I tweeted out a picture of us like about to start the podcast and he was like, at least that beard isn't a pencil beard. I'm like, don't bring it up. It was a very bad time of my life. Just get out of it. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so funny. I didn't even think about it. Like, it wasn't anything I ever thought. I don't know. Actually, just, did. That was just your beard. I never really thought, like. Yeah. Well, the thing is. Oh, like, that's weird. You should fucking change that. Like, I don't, it was just you. It's just how you looked. I don't know. Who thinks about other guys like that? Only girls think about, oh, what's up with your hair? Or what? We just, no, like, I dude, think that, you don't give a nah, shit. Nah, dude, I do. I think about that shit. Really? Yeah, I think well, about that. You're shit. a girl, as I just said. <laughs> I'm, I'm just 18% Wait, you still gay. You've the Facebook page, Eddie. You've still got the Inside Eddie Facebook page. I and still do. The I profile picture it. is a big picture of you with that beard. I'm looking at it right now. That is <laughs> incredible. No, don't do it. Oh, oh it's my. killing me. I'm checking this now. It's killing me inside. <laughs> don't do it, please. Oh god, I'm dying from the cringe. I can't. I can't. Please don't. I'm gonna have to save that just in case. Oh no, don't please. Oh, James, oh, you're mate. Ho- well, well, that is tragic. Okay, we was good friends. That is tragic. Also, that look at those mismatched screens. Look at those mismatched screens. Goddamn. 
<laughs> oh, I remember that setup, the no. classic no. security setup. No, I just saw it. Oh, no, no. Is, that's going on screen, and if you don't put it up, <laughs> I will take the video down and re-edit oh. it. That is going up on uh. screen. The thing is, I can tell you exactly why I had that that beard back then. The pencil line thing was because I was a lot chubbier than I am now, and it was probably to oh, more yeah. define my jaw to show that I have a jaw. <laughs> you look <laughs> like you just can, you can such do that a with a normal beard anyway. That first of all oh. makes you sick. Second of all, you look like you should work. I'm not at, at a kebab shop. That's uh, that's what <laughs> yeah. it looks like. That's it's a reality. funny you say that, but do you know what it's it looks funny. like to me? It looks like you're you're wearing a helmet, but the he- the top <laughs> bit of the helmet has fallen off, but the straps are still there. I actually cannot believe you used to look like that, and I thought it was normal. Like it, that like it makes, makes me sick. That's me. disgusting. That is disgusting. It's crazy. Isn't it? <laughs> it's like it's crazy. Like, I can't believe that perfect line that goes all the way who, around. Who, who were you? Wh- who did you like look to in your life and thought that was a good idea? Was like I'll look like that. That'll be cool. Why did I let you look like this? I just want to say you no, guys it's a, gen- really, really it's a good genuine friends. question. Who really the fuck? Because I'm mad. Because I'm actually getting mad more. I look at it, and I need you to tell me who when the. Fuck! Did you think that was okay? <laughs> what did Philip DeFranco look like back in the in like those days? Exactly. The no, same. it wasn't. It wasn't because I, I was a big fan of Philip DeFranco back in the day. But no, he doesn't look like that. He, I don't think he's ever had a beard. No, do you know what it was? I think um, I I probably just started to grow like facial hair, and it was all about like growing down the sidebones, and eventually it connected, and I, and then it just sort of became the thing, and it was like, oh, these bits have started to grow straight away. Well, let's make it into a beard to show that I'm a man. Except um, you can see from that picture. Yeah, no, but but no, no, but what I mean is <laughs> like you you connected them and were like, <laughs> I don't know, like was there someone you saw that you thought that was okay? No, genuinely, this was just me being stupid back in the day. This is, there was nobody that I looked up to that had this style, and I oh, can we please? There's so Make many old people. You guys are such good profile. friends. Oh, Jesus, why are Wait, you doing this to me, James? That, oh. that picture, <laughs> Jesus these? Christ. That picture is from when we these? went to that Call of Duty event, right? And we met um, Merle from The Walking Dead and shit. That was cool. Yeah. Oh, James, why are you doing this to me, man? That, Wait, that, there are that, so yeah, many James. pictures on that, here. These are terrible. These, oh, God. James oh, oh, oh bro, hey, terrible. dude, first oh, of all, mate. you look 48 in this last one in the leather jacket, <laughs> the headphones. <laughs> You look like you're, yeah. You look like you're, 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 oh my you're God. you look you went like up to be Vin Diesel. Oh but... n- no, you look like you're the son of a really rich like Dubai banker, and you've studied in the UK, and you're all about <laughs> Al Qaeda. That's what you're like. You're oh, all about mate. that. You know what I mean? That's what it kind of. <laughs> oh my God. That's what I just want to again Why are you say. Your KFC hat. You Actually, that was I made KFC. that myself. No, I just made that myself. Oh, that it makes like it a, so much cooler. It's better yeah, yeah. now. That's you a made a story. KFC oh hat. God, I- <laughs> I'm glad so- that 20 minutes of beard talk has led to this. This was the best mm. decision we could have made. <laughs> oh my god James just is going in he doesn't give a fuck why are these all still on the internet how has nobody found them until now oh my oh god, god that subscribe pillar one you look like <laughs> you're, you're, you're ready to go on the biggest loser like what the <laughs> fuck man oh my god amazing oh god I can't I can't James James please it's killing me I'm dying here. oh I'm my find, god you have got to find the login and delete this now before James releases this to the public before this oh goes live oh my god this is I'm dying holy I'm fuck I'm dying here I can't I can't I'm going so on the discord just in case you didn't know <laughs> Eddie oh James you've killed me man oh fuck you know oh my god this oh is, this, this is, is amazing is, like it's one of those things where it's like a train crash you, you, or a car crash. Like you just can't look away. Oh. You know people are suffering. You know somewhere this is so awful, but also so interesting to look at. Oh, fuck. oh my god! I want to know the thing I love is old pictures. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> As, again, I just want to say thank you because you guys are like my true bros, and this is what only what a true friend would do. And you've you've you've, you've killed me here. You've my, my head yeah. is actually. <laughs> R.I.P. Oh, rest, rest in, in pieces oh. because you were just uh, ripped apart. Um, yeah. We should bring back Hottie of the Month. We should do that as like a, an anniversary. What is Hottie of the Month? What is Hottie of the Month? What is Hottie of the Month? 
so back in the day of YouTube, this was it was more more of a time where it was a bit more safer to like show boobs essentially, but not like naked boobs, just like girls in bikinis and stuff like that. This was a and weird was, time on the internet, by the and way. And it was very. I love it. it. Chefs, very... you do this all the time. Chefs does a thing all the time where he always goes, "This was a weird time." That's also you say it all the time. You say that. You say, really? This was yep. a weird time, I've or this was this time, that. or it might have been this is a weird time. I was like, <laughs> I... this was a strange time. Like we yep. all weren't alive, dude. It was three years ago. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, like, no, 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 no. This was like tw- this was 2012. I know. I I understand <laughs> what you're saying, but also was two seconds ago, and yeah, well, it wasn't was that weird. weird. It wasn't this, that weird of a time. Told, we were all there. Time, it wasn't we that all weird of a time. We all know. We all were all there for it. Yeah, yeah. AC follower it. and game of vids were about. We were doing bits. Yeah, yeah we mate. were doing bits in the coal mines. That's right. That's right. And it was a weird time. <laughs> it was a weird time on the internet. You need to put that on a t shirt. <laughs> We've was, made it, was, it a brand for you. It was yeah, a weird yeah. time. It was the best of times. <laughs> oh, so, this whole year of the month thing was basically, it was like a way to make clickbait titles and thumbnails and stuff like that. It was like a, a 20 second collage of like images of a certain chick on the internet. Mila Kunis and it would be like. Whatever. Hey guys, uh, come and check out Hottie of the Month. And it was like Mila Kunis or whoever it is this time, Jessica Negri, whoever it might be, just some, some in- internet girl that likes to show more than, than, you know, her ankle or something like that. It was like, hey, go check this out. And it would. But what did you talk about? Thing is, well, because, thing is, because he it was mentioned just a segment. it, like it wasn't like a show. It yeah, was just like a segment on the it. Inside Eddie show. Yeah, yeah but the, what, the what were you doing the, the segment? Thumbnail. Would you just so bring him in? Because he could say. Um, you know, this month it's like Mila Kunis. He could go out and get ninety percent of the thumbnail as Mila Kunis in a bikini, plus some clickbait title like "Was a weird one." Like, um, cocaine fueled dildo. And <clears throat> yeah, stuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah, and that's the thing with the that thumbnail I would of do. Mila what? Kunis and a baby crying. You yeah. know. I would do stories about stupid shit that happened where like a, a girl called uh, the airport that her husband was going to on a business oh trip God, and call in a bomb threat just so she couldn't just so he couldn't go away. But then that wouldn't be enough to, to get people in because sex obviously sells the most than anything. Yeah. And I'd be able to be like, hey, it's hot of the month. Mila Kunis, come check this out. And then put a really fucking hot picture of her as a thumbnail and then it would bring tons of people in. But that was... A very, 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 weird time on the very internet, long yeah. time ago. A weird time on the internet. That's right. A long time ago. It yeah. Time. It was yeah. a weird time. <laughs> I want to um, read out one uh, story that got sent in by one of our, our Patreon bros, Dano, if that's okay for you guys. And you guys can have a little laugh at this story. It's quite a good one, <clears throat> if you guys are cool with that. Totally. No. Here we go. <clears throat> it says, uh, all right, boys, this happened in 11th grade. He puts in brackets, uh, America. So I was about 16 to 17. This story does not involve me specifically, but this is one of the many moments slash stories I've been in the vicinity for. The the day I had just started, we entered one of our science-y type classes. Our teacher was telling us about how you could tell exactly what you'd had for breakfast under a microscope. Can anyone see where this is going? I feel like someone could, yep. You see where this is going? Yeah. (laughs) It goes, uh... All we had to do was to get one of those small wooden uh, sticks things uh, or toothpicks, swab the inside of our mouth, which if you're doing that with a toothpick, that must be <clears> fucking <throat> difficult. Ooh, um, yeah. And then scrape a little glass slide. <clears throat> we then, you've really destroyed my throat there with all the laughing, James, you've really <laughs> killed me right there. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, we then look through, the, through our table's microscope to see everyone would go round. The common ones were cereal, milk, eggs, and stuff. There was one girl who couldn't figure out, <laughs> oh, <laughs> using God. our booklet or whatever we had. I had known this girl for years. She seemed very pr- uh, pretty nice girl, nothing out of the ordinary. We couldn't figure it out, so our group had to get the teacher to come by. The girl had a proud of herself look on her face. The teacher uh, checks, pauses, and doesn't want to tell us. The bros in my group go and plead to the teacher to tell us, tell us, what is it? He goes, it's semen. Poor girl had that proud look of, uh, of her face turned to pure horror and was embarrassed. When, which, <laughs> which then, of course, all the dudes in my group had to comment and say, so this isn't the first small piece of wood you've had in your mouth today, th- this morning, <laughs> eh? 
That's pretty good. Although I feel that's like the, the teacher right. should have just said, I don't know what that is and thrown it away. <laughs> a proper <laughs> yeah. teacher would have been, Wait, right? I'm so confused. <clears throat> what? I'm a James. Basically, right, I'm so, so lost. The science experiment was <clears throat> to swab your mouth and see what you'd eaten for breakfast, right? And right. you can, there's bits of like cereal in it or milk or whatever. And this chick swabbed her mouth. And Does someone brush their the, teeth? Maybe it was on her way to fucking college or wherever he was doing. Um, on the way to school, 16 yeah. to 17. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I guess. Uh, and, you know, being a quality lass, you know, gave, gave it a, a morning wake up to her man. She, she, didn't, she didn't spit it out. She's not a spitter, clearly. Exactly. Hard working <clears throat> girl. Right, yes. so she had semen in, in her... Yeah, there okay. you go. There we go. In her slide and in, oh, in front of the, all the school. Yeah, it's a bullshit <laughs> like The story, teacher should have said, yeah. I do yeah. not know what this is, yeah. The teacher who's, part who's, is who's the bad part. Story? Uh, Dano. Dano. He's one of our OG, Get out of here. OG subs. Oh, yeah. uh, that's hey, why. That's, that's a why bullshit I will not have us. any yeah. smack. This yeah. guy is a quality lad, right? Yeah, he's quality legit. lad. It's probably true. It's no. probably true. It's probably it's true. Probably true. Yeah. No, it's the not, thing is, it's none just of that the teacher. Any sense. It's just the teacher. Yeah, I'm like, why fail. would the That's teacher, teacher say fail. anything? Why That's are, a teacher why? fail, not a chick fail, just in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not had your, your mouth swabbed, uh, James, and found some, some semen in there just offhand, you know? This happens. Yeah. It happens. It, it was a weird yeah. time. It was, yeah, it was a weird <laughs> time. Yeah. Not sure how I got there, but you know. Yeah. It was early twenty. Weirdly enough, Eddie. Weirdly enough, that was after I came to you for advice on exactly, uh, on yeah. YouTube. You came yep. to him. I'm not came. sure there was anything, anything. You know, it was anything to do with that. But uh, that was just when you got your your growth spurt into YouTube, right? It was just like, uh, sorry, I didn't mean phrasing. growth spurt that way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Phrasing. <laughs> sorry Oof. about that. I didn't mean to do that again. But yes, the growth spurt in YouTube. In YouTube, it was just about that time. Yeah. So. But, yeah. But, yeah. Coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Coincidence. Jesus. How has this derailed so so far from our wholesome beer talk? So far, there's one favorite, more yeah. one more final comment, and I feel like uh, James can add a little bit more to this one just here because he's uh, he's the true gamer of all of us, isn't that right? Isn't that right, Ooh. James? Right now, yeah, that is true. See, <laughs> after an, after two hours of just us slaying you about how you're not a gamer, we thought we'd give you a little something. Then. In fairness, I think he because hit back pretty hard with those pictures. Just saying, oh, yeah. shit, he, did, he fucking did, man. That killed demolished. Him. He really did. He's Doom uh, guy. You're some random, like, no-name fucking demon. tutorial demon. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from Zahir. He goes, I want to know why you'd waste your time and energy with associating yourselves with as borways. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's Sounds a good like point. Zahir. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why I would do that. He goes, there's plenty of I'm new sorry, games who said, releasing. Who sent this in? Zahir. I've never heard of them, so I don't know. <laughs> 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 who even is here right now he's a really quality guy we love you man you're the best mm. you're the best uh, I'm, yeah i've literally never heard of him so I, yeah, well i, I watch i'll take guys. i'll take your word for it so i'll take your word for it i watch you guys so my quality level is pretty low pretty low um there are plenty of new games on uh, releasing in the coming weeks doom eternal animal crossing final fantasy remake any of these games you'll be interested in i'm personally i don't know this is a gaming be- podcast we, I wanted to get something for you guys to get in because get involved you weren't, in just here. You weren't <clears throat> invited to the True Gamer podcast. We do feel bad, and we think maybe you should you should be allowed to be in the presence of True Gamers, even though you don't really fit on the True Gamer podcast. You know, <clears throat> this was the thing. I was hesitant to actually ask this question because I know the people listening will be like, "Why are they asking these questions to to two people who are clearly not gamers, like not really into it?" It's like. Asking for medical expertise to Donald Trump, it's just not, you know, what's the point? Like, you really roll your eyes and whatnot. But I thought I'd ask it anyway. <clears throat> he goes, I'm beyond hype for Final Fantasy VII, which I'm sure you guys all know. I could gush uh, all about sorry, about it all day. You're not worthy of my intellectual commentary. And of course, how could we forget, Diogo sucks. So what are you guys mm. most excited for? I mean, it's a weird time for games. <laughs> is it? Is, it is, it's is a it? weird time. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Sheps. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, there, it was this time back on the internet, or was this time back back in society where that's what Sheps does? He goes. That's why. He's, when, that's when, why when, he's when he's trying boys. to tell the story, <laughs> it was this time in society back in 20, 2018 Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it oh, you time. mean you mean six months ago? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Sheps. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know. <laughs> Uh, He's never going to be able to do it anymore. Now that I've pointed out, I've broken the glass. Oh, you're going to make me. You've done exactly so what I did to you. Conscious and you've of ruined it. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be so conscious of it. And every time I'm going to do it, and then just say, 
fuck Tyler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And everyone's... Get, but the thing Weird. is, everyone... Usually it's James doing it to me with things I say. But, but it's nice It's nice it. when I get to do it to Sheps. But every time I've done a podcast with Sheps, he's always said that with one of the stories. He'll be like, well, there was this time back on the internet. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, why yeah, are you that, saying that it as if we weren't fucking aged. there, man? Yeah, I like, think... Look, I think it's mostly for the people listening that are all eight. Yeah, you know? exactly. But... And That's we will get back shit. to Zahir's question. We absolutely will. But I don't care about slight, Zahir's slight question. Slight sidestep, James. What are the things you make Tyler self-conscious about? Let's let's hear the laundry oh, list. Your top there is five. A big let's do list. it. Top five. The best five. Let's the five think. that well, first, you know when he like speaks to his mum on the <clears> phone, he'll say something, and it will have the like the Vietnam flashbacks to you <laughs> just saying something on a podcast, and it will eat him up all fucking night, and he won't sleep. I want to hear that oh, top ten. God. Those top five. Let's think. I mean, the first one was for sure relax that he always used to say all the time. That was I mean, that, that to become a brand thing for a while. Mm. But uh, but then it, but then he stopped saying it. So you know, I'm trying to think of other ones. There's got to be some bit. There's got you probably remember more than I do. Uh, honey dick. I've had a lot of catchphrases. Honey dick. That's a good one. That's still yeah. Honey dick was that, a, yeah. That's a great one. Um, for sure, relax. Um, hey man. Hey that man. One. I still do that, but I still do that. I love yeah, that. But we made that a thing. It developed more from me picking up on, like, shit you said and you stopped saying it to it developing into a thing. But I didn't even stop it. saying it because you said it. I just, like, I always have phases of things I say. It's a phase. I, I'm not going to say yeah, it But also forever. then you become, you notice it then. And then you're going to be more likely not to say it. I don't know. I still say hey, Whereas man, if I never point it out. And I genuinely out, mean it. Hey, I don't man, say I've it as big much. Shoes. Remember when I'd, you started saying that? I'd never said that. That's not. Yeah, a you thing. did. That, that was your catchphrase. Don't you remember? Yeah. You used to intro every podcast. I'd be like, and I'm joined as always by Tyler. And you'd be like, hey man, I've got big shoes. And I was like, that's really weird, Tyler. Why, why are you saying that? Where'd that come from? <laughs> yeah, right. I see. <clears throat> I see. Yeah. I don't know. The, I can't think of any more though. With the time thing, I have to say, Sheps, <clears throat> he has the worst grasp of time. He really doesn't understand what? it. You really don't because <laughs> do you there's times where he's like, okay, we're going to do this content. And I, I propose oh, we yeah. I propose we do it about maybe about 20 to 30 minutes. And then he's the anchor. He's the he's the producer for this. He All takes right. control context. and it ends up being two hours. Context. And I'm like, and we also... Start, go, context. Go, go, we, go, started, we started Anime Club, right? So we've been doing Movie Club. I'm a big weeb, right? I love anime. and You said and, that a bit too proudly, I think. Yeah, you yeah, should be too more proud, yeah. should yeah. embarrassed to yeah. that. Nah, be I'm embarrassed fucking, of that, bro. Gamers are men and fucking weebs are some real alpha bearded men. All right, especially me. But and uh, <laughs> so, also my so hashtag, Ed, but you're welcome. Ed had um, made me watch, or well, we we watched uh, Crisis of Infinite Earth, and I spinned it because I'm, I'm all about I, uh, terrible. I'm all about emotional abuse, and I spinned it like he made me watch this shit for like three or four hours, yeah. and so as a result, he has to now. Watch some anime, right? And you proper held it over me, and I'm like, I oh, really did. Fuck. I rubbed it in deep and hard. I added the salt, the lemon juice, everything, right? Yeah. I rubbed it in as much as I could. Got him to watch this thing, and I said, "Look, I, I see anime club. It, we don't need to take it as long as a movie club. We're not reviewing the whole thing in super detail. It will take half an hour, forty-five minutes. Not that much. It's only like, you know, total like maybe three hours of content. It's not even that long, right? It's like a long movie, and we can just blast through it." And uh, and it took a bit longer than half an hour. Yeah, a bit longer. Just around bit. about the around about the hundred and twenty minutes section. Uh, maybe that's about that. Far. Maybe two hours before we got to people's comments and stuff. It, it went a little yeah. overboard. I got also. I did get quite excited for it. Not gonna and lie. you do this thing sometimes at the beginning of podcasts where like we do an intro where we're just talking randomly and then you'll be like half an hour later into the podcast and we have a look at the recording it's five minutes you, you, he has no concept of time so when he says back in these uh, these weird times of youtube yeah. or this long ago just know he has no concept of time <laughs> yeah, so there's me, a, back in the day on youtube there's this guy called ray william johnson oh, i've never fucking heard of oh him my God, that shit, so that never show. heard never heard there you go <laughs> right. tyler wants to become like ray william johnson Become the producer and then lose all of his Just audience. An absolute <laughs> because you have someone else in the forefront. Yeah. Ray nice. William Johnson told me that... It, uh, fucking... What did he say to me told on Twitter you. years and years ago? He, wait, like, he actually talked to you on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tweeted something. It, was, it wasn't at him. It was just in general. Like, I think Smosh were talking about how they were about to overtake him and, like, become most subscribed. And I was like, wow, I can't believe finally someone's going to overtake Ray William Johnson or something like that. And his response to me was, at Game of Vids, um, you're never going to amount to anything in life and that makes me happy and I have the screenshot wow, somewhere 
Isn't that's that fucking shark, harsh. Shark out funny. of nowhere. Yeah, and, but that's so how funny. you can tell a, a garbage human that has no sort of hold on life because like little weird things like that, they take it personally. Whereas like come on man, you grew up on the internet. Like that's what people do yeah. on the internet. Even if and even if it was meant maliciously, it's some random on the internet. You yeah. don't have to take it like you don't have to take it seriously, man. You're Ray William Johnson. But then again he's Ray William Johnson, the biggest douche cuck you've ever heard of so Jesus and he makes Christ. memes on facebook now about cheating on your girlfriend and how that's hilarious on facebook oh, that's what he does yeah that's what he does f's in chat boys uh, james has to james is on the edge though he might be he might be the next ray william johnson in this instance because Ooh. you're always looking at your comments and always getting oh, riled up by people and stuff like that so you're oh, you're I on just, the edge i love mate. it though i just love it i live for it I love arguing with people. Your, your, your comments, people. your responses, right. quality. Just the best. I love them. Best it's quality on my Twitter fine. feed. Talking of comments, when we started this whole <clears> thing up, like I, I'm more on the on the pessimist, like going hard kind of type, and Ed's more laid back. And we got some no. weird hate comment on one of the videos. We, we covered a uh, PlayStation, yes. I think it was a patent leak or something. And this dude okay. went hard. And I was really polite. You know, I was like, oh, I can see, I can see your opinion, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's an interesting, you raise an interesting point, whatever. I'm like, okay, this is what Ed would like. And uh, then he sent me a text saying, did you see this fucking guy? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, has he got you worked up? Can I go in? And, uh, oh, my days. I was, I, he didn't respond, but if he was, I, I was making notes. You know, I was going to fuck this dude over. I remember when that came up and I was like, this is how I imagine ships go. And he's like, this mother... Okay, hold on, calm down. This is a partnership. We're both together in this. I can't do it because it will look bad on Ed. Let that's me reply exactly, politely. That's exactly what happened. Not even joking. And then when you when you get my message, when you get my message, you're like, oh shit, I underdid this. Fuck, I should go back and fuck this guy up. Yeah. I, <laughs> so, oh boy. Yeah. Oh. That is that is YouTube. That is YouTube. Right it's a there, weird time. It? It is weird it's, a it's weird not time. that's not the meme the meme is you saying I'm killing that, the meme. Was, I'm a, killing that was that was a time it. there was a, i killed it because you're well, not a marketing expert like i am your meme's dead right and it's only i mean i don't run a, a i don't run a, yeah you're right i don't run a successful business i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about no you don't you don't you don't <laughs> yeah. you, run, you run you run your own meme page we don't we have we, we create memes so i yeah. don't Naturally, run anything i've i you honestly and your organization we're on your own meme page. We don't have to because we're meme creators. Well, I killed your meme. It's only used now as, as a dead meme. Yeah. Now, do you know what's funny? You, you run your own Discord, yeah? And they have yeah. seven users. We have about 5,000 on ours and I don't run it. Fucking, I have I'm gonna about... Say, I have I more mods that... It. I have more mo We have more mods that run our Discord page than you have users on your Discord page. That's actually so, probably true. I mean, you're yeah. more than anyway, right? <laughs> I will say, genuine, genuinely, Diogo has pretty much set up the entire discord for us he's done an incredible yeah, job because i have yeah. no fucking clue yeah no, how no, to no, run no. this shit yeah i yeah. Re like you say you, you don't run it i couldn't amazing. run it if i needed to if, if, let's say this was like a million dollar business and it was on me to do it well we're going broke i, I can't dead. do it yeah i <laughs> yeah. can't do it even for a million dollars i couldn't figure it out i'm just not that guy and i was pretty much hours up to be fair yeah diogo pretty much set the whole thing up he figured out like stuff we you and uh, Ed and, and Diogo set up like emotes and all this shit and I'm just like fuck I come to this discord and it, it functions it works and all I have to do is put in a bit of FaceTime you know because because that's about as good as I'm I'm really in it for the looks you know I'm the looks I'm the the, the humor the quality content but in terms of like skills not really the guy uh, it's me and Diogo carrying this you know and Ed's just an anchor yeah 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 that's it um, I, I, you need to have someone push it pulling you down you know it exactly. makes it a bit more interesting, a bit more but interesting. I, I did want to say I didn't, you know, I can't take the credit for setting up. I really couldn't even take that. I'll take the credit for killing your shit meme, though. <laughs> You're good at killing things. You kill my old podcast, so that's... Um... You're, you're welcome. Hey, that's right. we did. That was Exterminators great. make a lot of money. Don't forget it. <laughs> I don't think it they do. It's like a while since we had Kill Connor Club. But, but I feel like you and I had pr mentally killed it months before. Like, you and I both were waiting, excited about moving yeah, on true. from Kill Connor Club. So, it wasn't it a was thing... It was really good. It wasn't concept. even like a... It, it, <clears> like a sad thing to say goodbye to it. this podcast we've done for over five years um, because uh, one the show is, ex is exactly the same we've just upgraded it and made it better now it's a video podcast and it was always it just made sense at the time and, and I think James and I just happened to be re ready for that moment at the same time and that's why 
we've done what we've done with our business because James and I, for whatever reason, strange reason, we've always been on the same page with 99% of shit. And that's a big deal to want to change the name of our flagship show and, and move on from it. But I had been thinking about it for weeks and James then brings it up to me. And I'm like, dude, I see that moment. We, we were recording. We were on podcast. It's the MCU phase four and phase five one we did while you were in the UK. Was it? I thought it was off the podcast. Yeah. I, thought, I remember sitting no, in your room right, right at talking end. about it. Really? It right at the end of that podcast. Because you're like, oh, we should just start talking about... Um, we should just like talk about Marvel or whatever. And I was like... I, I can't remember exactly how it happened, but I brought up like, why we should change the name of the podcast. It was a really great branding decision. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely... Like, when you guys said, oh, yeah, we're going to... You'll be on the last one. We're changing to As Always. I do remember thinking, like, that's a... A really a strong move. branding move. I mean, unlike us, we started with strong branding. Yes, um, we, yes. We plan yeah. for the future. You know, we're business minded. Yeah, right? yeah well, exactly. Especially so when seriously. when you t- do a full year of a, your show that you're branded, and then you go to your second year to launch second year, you call it year one. No, it's a great that branding was year move. Zero. That was and yeah, yeah, Because yeah, the thing, a uh, year that yeah. doesn't exist. Well, um, I mean, like this. Yeah. This is well, weird. actually. <laughs> yeah. Not we're, everyone uses the Gregorian calendar. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually Strong being quite point. offensive to people that use other calendars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, like the Aztec. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, God, oh, that's, that's fucking, fucking hilarious. Oh, that's funny. Imagine thinking the Gregorian calendar is like the only calendar. Lol. <laughs> Ruffle right. Mayer. <laughs> Did you really see thought that? he was doing something. What a small Did you see that power move? move? Did you see that Facebook oh. post that George tweeted out about the Northampton uh, police force? Oh, fucking hell. So yeah, tell me, you have to explain to me why the people in Northampton are this stupid. And Let first of all, by the way, I guarantee oh. you there's people in every single town in the UK I'm and sure. Australia <laughs> that would do the same thing all over the world. That is not, that to me, I'm people like, that is... People are just stupid. Yeah, people Probably are stupid. People are stupid. Yeah. It would be the same here, anywhere in Australia, anywhere in America, anywhere in the UK. I'm telling you, that to me was like normal. Like, I'm like, yep. Yeah, Super dumb, but People not surprised. Dumb, yeah. Not surprised. Let me read it. Let me read it out for the guys at home that are listening and whatnot. It says Northampton Police uh, is urging people to take individual responsibility and exercise common sense as oh, the force deals with divulgers of calls from the public reporting people or asking for COVID nineteen related questions. And here are the questions that they were asked: Is it illegal to not cough in a tissue? <laughs> <clears throat> Can I still travel to the airport today? Someone is walking more than two dogs in my street. That's illegal. Yep. It's not even a question. Yeah. Not even a question. That's a statement, yeah. right? Come on, the police. <laughs> They're telling the police what's illegal, just so they they know. You know. <laughs> Do I need special ID to go out and cut down a tree? Wait, wait, wait. It's just to be clear. That's like one of the weirdest things they have. This isn't a common thing. It's not like 50 people in Northampton are like, oh, I need to ring the police and find out. Could you just no, quickly it's... ring up your mum, uh, James? Can you quickly ask her if this is a common thing? Is that all the neighbours and whatnot as they ask that? They, they've the decided, no, finally we're on lockdown. Don't have to worry about the, the old job. Might as well cut down that tree, right? Cut down that tree. There you go. But do I need a special ID to do so? I need to yeah. know. <laughs> My neighbor has taken his car off the drive. He's not gone anywhere, but I'm sure he's about to. Come and stop him before he does. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And one final one. My wife doesn't think her job is essential, but I do, and she's working from home. Is there anything I can do? Now, this Basically guy wants to I get rid for. of his woman. <laughs> yeah, this guy, look, let's be honest, we all feel for that guy. Yeah, like, spend some time with a missus. I'm I'm trying to get through nah. dinner tunnel here. If she won't leave, I can't get gaming. You know. So explain to us, James, what is it with the people of Northampton? Oh well, you know, that's just how it be sometimes. Yeah. I really don't know what to tell you. That is how it's terrible. I'm just I'm just as shocked as you are. This is insane. I'm not. I mean, I've, 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 like I've spent a bit. I've spent a bit. I've spent fair bit of time in Northampton. I'm not surprised. Um, <laughs> I've been to Western Fable Shopping Centre. It's oh fucked. God. It's fucking cooked. It really is fucked. I bet you it's packed. I bet you everybody's oh, dude, there today. I guarantee oh. you Western Fable Maccas is fucking lit up right now. Is it closed? Well, McDonald's is closed in the UK. They've closed all the restaurants. Not Western yeah, Fable. Have, yeah. No, no, that's <laughs> they're still open. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. It's fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it, mate. Don't worry about it. I oh, bet you. Yeah. God. Someone will fucking smash the windows to try and get in like they did the other day. 
fuck some fucking kid threw a chair or something at the window and smashed fucking it. Yep. A chair. And so they had a they had a bouncer outside the McDonald's that wasn't letting kids in. Mate, Northampton, come on. Yeah, it's not, just, you got to expect mental. it. Really. If you need a bouncer outside your McDonald's, you need to find a different area. Let's be honest. Oh god, Western Fable is the worst place, and that is that's objective. It's the worst place. Oh boy! All right, guys. I feel like we've uh, we've talked about a lot of stuff here today. I think this has been a good laugh. Uh, I feel like there was a lot of a lot of me, uh, James, basically destroying me, killing me at that that middle section right there. But I feel yeah. like I got him back at the Northampton talk right there. Mm, I would James say no. Smashed you. No, it was on the same level. It was on the same level, right, guys? Affair. Um, yeah. So on the same level, we agree yeah, on the same level. On, on, on kind of. <laughs> What? Imagine silence, you have Muhammad silence, Ali in silence. his prime, and then like just a, a toddler having a tantrum, and then they say, "Right, oh. this is for all the belts. Go." Oh, you know, shit. James is Muhammad <laughs> Ali, and uh, and you just you know you throw your toys out the pram, really. Mm. And God damn it! For everybody listening at home, please go over to the YouTube video where we will probably timestamp it. You'll see all those <laughs> all those pictures. Yeah, that's something that we uh, one of the guys asked for us to do timestamp. So I'm going to try and do my best and get that going from oh, now on. God. I hate timestamps. He, yeah, James, it's, it's James, it's true. James it. does hate timestamps. It's not that hard, but he hates them. It takes him about five minutes. It. it does. Yeah, look, it's more. It takes probably more like twenty minutes, but like, it's just annoying because I'm just listening through a podcast that I've, I just did. I think and I've got to like I, click through and find the points, and I'm like, ugh. See, I've been doing. Like, we derail it. it so many times. There's so oh, many little sure. tangents, and I'm like, which do I timestamp? Which do I not? I don't do you like include it. them. Yeah, exactly. Now, yeah, it's almost like you haven't do... been doing podcasts for six years, and it's that hard to figure yeah. out. But yeah, <laughs> well, I, also, <laughs> I, I hate doing podcasts. I don't like it. You just make me do it. I, you know, I, don't, I really Stay don't actually like it. That actually makes sense. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense, sense to me. I just want to make AC videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually makes a lot of sense. Is this did you know Keenan Mutt's tree is on Game Pass right now, James? Yeah, I did. Holy no fuck, that's insane. They're adding uh, 1.5, 2.5, and 2.8 to Game Pass later this year. Holy Here shit. Here we go. All right, we've reached the shit part yeah, of the podcast. Let's, let's We're let's talking about it. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I'll, I'll put this out there. Here's a bounty for the timestamping. Anybody uh, that wants to do it instead of having us do it, you get the pinned comment on the on the video. So they you, you, you want to be there famous. You uh, here's looking famous. at you comment section. Someone do it just all wrong. They're not going to check. Oh, oh no, we're yeah, not going to check. Yeah, you can yeah. put whatever you want. It could literally be anything. We'll just be like, yep, that looks about right. That's okay, perfect. let's put that yeah. in there. In fact, now that's like the, the meme. first three right. So if they do check, you know. But like, the oh, the rest of them are probably it. cool. No. The rest of them are probably right. I want no, someone to time, do that timestamp. You know when someone always goes, oh, video actually starts, podcast actually starts. Oh. And do a timestamp. But oh. do the timestamp one second <laughs> after the, the podcast ends. That's what I want to do. <laughs> one nice. second podcast actually starts here, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Podcast oh, starts here, you. lol. Fucking suck my dick. Oh, I got him. That's my biggest pet peeve is that video starts here. Oh, my God. For podcasts, it winds me up. Like, if it's some dude and he takes 20, you know, two minutes in to fucking talk about, okay, guys, so today we're going to fucking just shut up and, and clean up the rusty <laughs> chainsaw or whatever I'm watching at the time, right? Um, but for a podcast, it's like, no, it's, say thank you to your patrons and stuff. Like, if I wanted to be a patron, I'd want to know that I was getting thanked, you know, or whatever. See, yeah. That's the People thing. We do that to me on podcasts. We it's have self-respect. We have self-respect. We're like, ah, fuck! I can't, I can't long these people out. They've come to watch a, a video. They've come to watch me. They've given me their time. Whereas some YouTubers, it just seems like they're like, ah, fuck it. We'll waste seventy percent of this video chatting shit and promoting my Instagram, and then, uh, <laughs> and then we'll, uh, we'll talk about the three-second tutorial that they came here for. Yeah. Ten minutes into it. an eleven-minute video, you see the thirty seconds of gameplay footage you needed to find the Easter egg. You and know? you know, want to know what's terrible? Wow. Those are the videos that seem to get millions of views, and YouTube is like, "Oh, yeah, this is cool. This is great." Guy guy to be fair, Eddie, 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 you did about four intros to this podcast advertising your own shit. So I don't know if <laughs> this you know is what? the moment. I to swear be to God. <laughs> I, that was I did think about it. I, was like, I did do a bit of a long intro, but it would have been a lot quicker. It would have been a lot quicker. I have to say that previous episodes is proof to that. <laughs> For an actual bit, we could edit that. You know, I could. No, you can't edit it now because I've then addressed it, and you're then fucking the whole podcast vibe. I could we'll edit you out edit, of the whole thing. Exactly. Well, that would be that would be out. ideal. It, Tyler's audio. Well, that would be ideal if. If you want no views. So that's what you probably should do Why if you want no face. views. I was going to say, yeah. we could put James in the tags. We could put lasers in the tags now. You, that's fine. You, you could. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah that's, that's true. That's true. That's well, true. If we put Tynamite, they're gonna, it's going to like throw off the, the whole YouTube algorithm. Fuck that. True. Yeah. Put Fox yeah. in the tags. Yeah. Yeah. But James? 
Team Tom White. <laughs> He's getting James. mad. James. He's getting mad. <laughs> James. Yes, sir. That's 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 better. First of all, that's better. <laughs> Second of all, I'd like you to apologize for that because I don't think you meant that. What do you think I said? Did you say put Long Eared Fox in the title instead? Is no. that what you said? Oh. No, 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 no. I said it, I said putting I said you putting you in the title is better than putting Long Eared Fox. Oh, uh, okay. I thought you yeah, okay. I thought you said the opposite to that. Why was, would you think I would side with the enemy team? That's why I was Your confused, brother. man. That's why I was confused. <laughs> I, that's why I was confused. I have integrity, I have loyalty to Team Titan. That's what I thought. Thank you very I would much. never. Yeah. I would never. Thank you. While I normally decision, am team upside support. down king, look at these two weirdos having a domestic live on the podcast. They've been they're they're guests. We're we're trying to expose them, give them exposure. Here Other than the fact I own out. your podcast, just, I own let, let your just, brand. Let me just let's let's end the podcast here with a quote from James. Oh, here we go. I don't really like doing podcasts, but you make me do it. There we go. <laughs> there and we go. and, and, you know, and make, that explains our entire Thanks for coming, guys. That's your whole business. There. I'm going to yeah. make that the title, by the way. Six years. I'm going to make that the title. Expose Tyler forces James yes. to do podcasting against his will. And no one would click everyone on it. Everyone, would, everyone already fucking knows that. Everyone, like, <laughs> we know. This is just general. We know this. Come we'll on. Put, like, exposed lasers hates podcasts, brackets, emotional. That's the, that's <laughs> the everyone knows I hate podcasts and hate the four pillars. It's my that's only it. trait. Yeah. The, the, we were going to name the Northampton tour um, James yeah, Hayes the Four Pillars. Because <laughs> James can't because fucking drive. The, first yeah. of all, he can't the, drive at all. Okay. And, he, and he's even worse at parking a <laughs> car than he is at driving. No. Oh, like, my in, God. In a, shopping, actually... in a shopping center, there's like pill, you know, there's those basic foundational oh pillars. God. And he can't park yeah. next to them. I mean, oh, so you're saying 66% <laughs> of parking spots. He's no, too okay, scared so to park. Listen, in. I fucking. The other day. <laughs> Oh my god, the other day I parked next to one of the pillars because I was like, you know what? I had it in my fucking head. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it because I'm clearly just I'm just it. an idiot and I need to stop you trying are. to play it safe. I'll just park next to the pillar. Correct. And then guess what I fucking did when I reversed out of the fucking parking space? I got my fucking wing mirror caught on the fucking pillar and smashed my car into the side and of the thing. And, and that's the because you suck off. at driving. That's because you suck so much at driving and you need to get better <laughs> no, at driving. No, it's the people. pillar's fault and I'm never doing it again. <laughs> you it's suck the at driving. I knew I was no right one has ever... That pillar pillar. came out of nowhere. <laughs> Dude, how, who the fuck... Who the fuck drives out, reverses out of a pillar, and gets his yes. new record? How retarded are you? How because shit is Because I'm not used to it, and I was just reversing out, and it was there, and it just... Look at where you're reversing, I, though. Uh, Look, you just use your fucking eyes. Uh, yeah, but I don't... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> As always, drama is going in the tail. Because, <laughs> because of the fucking lockdown. So I'm stuck with this broken fucking car on my driveway. Oh my god! It doesn't Amazing. surprise me at all. You're, You're so big... bad at driving. It was such a nightmare to. It's not sit even in that car bad. The... All the time. You are though. You are that bad. You, you well, are I want to see bad. you fucking perfectly drive and not accidentally take a wrong turn once. Dude, <laughs> I no <laughs> problem. Come on, hey bro, come to Australia. No fucking problem. I'm the type of person that I go somewhere once with GPS. I've never been, and then I remember it forever, and I know how to go there. I, I need fucking, the GPS a I'm few a times. fucking great driver. Yeah, I have but the great only time coordination I... of where I'm going. I could drive around Northampton better than you could, motherfucker. At this point, and I've been there one <laughs> the time. Only time and I could I get around fucking, fucking Northampton. Going to the driving back from the airport. That was an issue. And then also Dude, when we went getting to the castle, the airport. I took a Dude, wrong I... turn yeah. and ended up going around a big loop de loop. But like. You know. No man, I've, when James picked me up from the airport, I've now like in person been with him for, for, so for half an hour. So many unbelievable roads. amount of wrong turns this guy took. He was panicking, couldn't pick the right lanes. I was like, "This is a fucking nightmare." <laughs> what in the look, world? There I was done? A, look. There are so. And many this is what he's doing, and he keeps going. Oh, look! Oh, look! Oh, look! Oh, look! Oh, look! There's all so. God, there's, look! 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 And then he said, "Look!" Seventeen <laughs> times in a row, and I was like, "I'm looking. Can you look and drive? That would be ideal, and then we could get somewhere. That would be helpful." I'm I'm gonna blame I'm gonna blame the the sat nav. It wasn't me. Yeah. I tell you what, following signs would have probably been easier. I probably should have done that and not the sat nav. Some of them are shit, especially in the UK. I feel like our roads are, are crap. Like there'll be that there'll be those Don't weird junctions where it tells you to take the turning, but then it splits and it doesn't tell you which one you need, and you always end up in the wrong one. Yes, right? that was it. That was yeah. it. Like Tyler, you got, I'm, it did because I was you. literally the most I was, I was and reading these two fucking splits yeah. in the road. No, and it doesn't tell you. No, it does like, tell you. Well, I was reading I your sat nav. I remember reading your sat nav, going, okay. "I know which way he's going. He's in the wrong lane." But you didn't say it out loud. 
Because oh, I was I'm like, I'm, I'm, because in I'm my head, at first, I assumed you you weren't retarded. Mm. At first, it was a wrong assumption. Oh, That's my bad. Very bad. And yeah, but... I was like, he'll he'll change lanes, obviously, because it says on the sat nav. He'll change lanes, obviously, because it says it on the sat nav. But then he didn't because hey, he's retarded. And Normally, then and he's and he's too scared good. and he's Elvis on a vlog. Mom said I was good. He is too scared. Mum complimented my drawing. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> mum said that. I was good. My mum says when oh, I grow up, I'm gonna be no. handsome. Oh, my mum says I'm a beautiful boy. <laughs> <laughs> I said Elva's mum, not my mum. Oh, okay. My mum. I mean, my mum also thinks I'm good at driving, but that's because yeah. she's my mum. But that's not the point. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying another person. Julie is too nice for her own good. That's why, and she loves her two boys too much. <laughs> And that's the only reason. Yeah, that's true. That she let me have that terrible haircut. She um, did. Yeah, that's true. If, if I go I and ask Stu, I'd be like, now, I see, see, I feel like, Stu's, like Stu's, Stu's a great driver, but chooses not to be a great driver. That's oh, how I feel about Stu. Oh, he's such a bad driver. That's, you think I'm a bad driver? Who's that? My God. Who's that? Stu is My dad. James's dad. Oh, is it? Because he seemed like a he seemed like a lad. He seemed like a man. I don't he know. He is. He's a real man. I fucking love Stu. I love. I love Stu. When you have a kid as and you're the dad, like there's a couple of things that you get. One's a beer belly, and the other is sick at parallel parking. And there's oh, no, yeah. like you just it's just part of the rules. You know. You know when you're reversing, you put your hand over the passenger side thing. And you look back. That's the dad move, yeah, right? You whip yeah. It in first. yeah. That's the move. <laughs> James, don't even say yeah, because I bet you've never done that in your life. You've never taken your hands off of ten and two. You're like. Oh, I never get enough of this. That is yeah, true. I'm not a dad. That's why. <clears throat> yeah. Well, uh, there you go. Uh, you Tyler, have I have it. to say, I'm I'm with you and against these guys. With it, I mean, uh, Sheps was like agreeing with the whole like sat nav thing and the roads and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I drive, and that tells I you a lot about Sheps driving. driving. I drive a lot for I drive for a living. Like that's what I do to get to my work and whatnot. I have no problems whatsoever. It's I'm good at driving. Is I drive to work. It was designed well, no, I, well, I, for you know idiots. What I do for my it job, was I designed for idiots. Yes, yes. It's literally yeah, full. It's idiot proof. It's easy. It's idiot proof. It's idiot yeah. proof. Yeah. I mean, my sat nav is really old. It's from like 2008 or something, and I just can't be asked to get a new one because it still mostly works, right? And I mean, 2008. It was a weird time. Right? Yeah. Was, okay. <laughs> I knew that was coming. The thing is, I knew that was coming as soon as you said that, and I don't like that you still did it. <laughs> that's gonna become a thing that's yeah. a yeah. really big only thing. around tyler though yeah oh god except it won't be because you're gonna catch yourself saying it and non-ironically that's a thing it and probably. i can't wait till that happens probably. you're gonna notice yeah you yeah. probably will yeah oh my god oh, right god. we've been talking too long i don't like you guys enough to keep going <laughs> Um, yeah, we should call this We should call it because these guys have have to pretend they have a functioning business to get back to. Yeah, um, we've we've exposed their drama now, so the, probably the business is going to fall apart the any day. Now. Is already That's... dead, so it's just how long can the I feel like our really? all our content is is James and I yelling at each other anyway. So. <laughs> I feel like you are very <laughs> on nice. brand. Yeah, I feel it's very exactly what we are. Uh, very as yeah. always for me to yell and get angry at James and James to get angry defensively, and that's kind of. <laughs> And that's our whole relationship. <laughs> that's what we do. I also do love that, that that's the way around that it is, despite the fact that James is one of the most talented YouTubers I know. Yeah. <laughs> or know of, even. Not even know personally, but know of. <clears throat> and it's what do just you, mean? you, you don't know him. me. You just know of me, you don't know yeah, me. Yeah, well, it's not, it's not like I look at James and go, <laughs> what a big YouTuber. I'm so starstruck. Like, yeah, fuck, you do. fuck James. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> You flew oh, all the way from Australia to meet him. Come on. <laughs> He's so true. big. I have, to, true. I have to do He's what he says. That's true. I did do that. I did do that. And stayed at his parents' did. house rent free. It was... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just took true. over his whole house. It was, it was... Yeah, it was wild. Wild times. I can imagine... I can imagine your energy in their house. Like, you're like this big fucking energy guy. You're like, fucking... I'm, I'm going to come in here. We're going to wreck... And then when you meet, like, his mum, you're just like... You, you'll become a gentleman, a good boy, and whatnot. You're like... Oh, I, you that is, that is so dead much. serious who I am, eh? That is dead serious who I am. When you get me on a I'm podcast, a, I'm, I'm, a, a, I'm a fucking idiot. But then... At their house, of course. I'm um, goody goody golden boy. Yeah. Like, walking um, up to the front door, it's all my parents fucking noodle arms, like... Uh, Conor McGregor, as soon as the door opens, oh, hi, ma'am, how are you? It's your, like, phone voice. Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty bet, sure... I bet I'm James is sure. warning the parents as well, like, okay, he's a bit, he's a loud guy, he's a big guy, you know, he's got a he's big Australian, personality, so, so like, be, you know, be careful around him and whatnot. 
Yeah. And then you come in all nice and whatnot, and your mum's like, "I think he's absolutely lovely. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. He was, just, he was great." As soon as she left, he left. She's like, "Where's all my jewellery?" <laughs> <laughs> Classic Australians, fucking can't criminal. trust Con- him. Convict. Can't yeah, trust that's him. true. That's true. No, I'm pretty sure James's parents like me. I'm pretty sure. I don't, I yeah, th- they do. They always talk about you. Like if my mum has a friend round, she'll always bring up like, "Oh, James had his had his meet up, and he had his friend from Australia with him. He stayed with us for two weeks. He was absolutely <laughs> lovely." <laughs> Um, First of your mum's voice. I, that is not what Julie sounds that. like. Anything Julie, like I will couples. stand up for you in this situation, and I don't like that you disrespect Julie like that. I, I, I'm offended. <laughs> like, you guys are best it's friends. Me and Julie like, talk regularly. <laughs> it doesn't sound like her, but also, it, it, I think it, it embodies it, her perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. But the thing Amazing. is, Eddie, I do actually talk to his parents every so often. I will message. I will yeah. get a message or message Julie and Stu. I love those guys. Oh, that's yeah, they're, um, they're, they're great the, people. Um, they're better FaceTime than James. Them, they're yeah. better than their children. I'll tell you that yeah. right. Oh, <laughs> I mean, my that's my. A, that's a, without given. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I uh, I message uh, Sheps' mom a lot as well. That's but that's a slightly <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah. because, I mean, she's a therapist. Hey, Sheps, so she Sheps, keeps Sheps saying, who's, like he hasn't paid for any sessions. So mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going down a dark hole. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on the Conversations <laughs> podcast. Uh, brought to hey, you by you the Live on Patreon.com forward slash, as that. always, that is $1 a month to get exclusive access I'm muting his mic. to the best podcast on the internet, the Clubhouse podcast. We've just crossed over 200 patrons, 204 because oh, we're growing yeah, so yeah. fast. I can't. I didn't even have time to yeah. talk about 200. I'm already 204. So um, shout out to them. I would read the list, but we'd be here for another hour and we don't have the time yeah. for that. So why don't you guys it's read your true. list? We'll get out here quicker. Well, so look, <laughs> we, we're the best content content on the internet you're the second best content so this is the third best podcast you can listen to ever you know right that's how maths works two plus one is three um so this was the third best content out there now Mm -hmm. uh like year zero that's how maths work exactly we would like to thank the as always boys who's hey james who's the guy who played roadie and iron man one oh fucking Uh, fuck what's this guy's name uh ah shit I don't know his name either. Uh, Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard. Eddie's like Terrence Howard of YouTube. He just doesn't know maths at all. He thinks year zero exists. And one, and like, yeah, like he's just... He's, one times he, one is two. He's dumb. And what I mean by that is, and I'm not trying to offend him, like what I actually mean by that is he's he's dumb. So that's what I mean by that. Uh, and I just, want to be ve- I just want to be very clear with yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't get that. He, he's like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be offend you. I don't want to insult you, but I'm insulting yeah. you. No offense, <laughs> yeah, but you're yeah. the biggest cunt I've ever met. Like, but no yeah. offense. Like, why are you getting oh, offended? Thanks, I said no offense. Why are you getting offe- I said no offense. God, it's good. I was going to yeah. say like, oh boys, you know, thanks thanks for the as always crew for lasers and dynamite coming on the on the podcast, even though we're giving them the exposure and like, you know, having the good, you know, the podcast flow, but... You know, freak these guys are not, you know, <laughs> patreon.com forward slash as always. I don't really think it deserves your dollar. Like they said, they've, they're growing fast. They don't need you. We they don't need, need you. you. We need Over you. Over on exactly. patreon.com forward slash conversations, one of the greatest places on the internet. The greatest place. The only other place really being the Discord. Our Discord. The conversations. Discord. Every other Discord is just mm-hmm. imitating. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to hear, do, do you want to, just to give you guys an idea of what, like, our career trajectory is like? <laughs> compared to conversations just like i'll give you an analogy i'll give you a sound effects description Here just, we so, go. just so you understand <clears throat> hang on this is right. this is this is james and tyler's careers you ready mute his mic mute his mic <clears throat> there we go go on. we're going we're listening it's the bottom of the ninth here and tyler's going up to bat and silence bang nothing, yeah. nothing. <sighs> Oh my god, it's the ball's gone out of the stadium. He's hit a home run. We can't even see where it's going. What, well, that's the ball, that's the ball. The ball's exited the atmosphere. Baseball. Can, can you do a good sport? Can you do a sport that you know we and our subscribers would know? Oh my god, James. it's past our satellite yeah. camera. <laughs> well, I can't have passed that. Cut, no cut, to, cut, to, cut, cut to the sa- cut to the sun. It's that powerful, the sound in space. The, then cut, cut to the sun. <laughs> the, the baseball go... <laughs> blows up the sun. Wow. That's James. That and, awful. That's so James. Listening to as always that will big, literally that, kill you and everyone you love yes. in a freezing waste by destroying the sun. The biggest home run we'll you've out. ever we'll seen that no one will be able to duplicate it, and the world might as well end. That's what that analogy is. I'm gonna no, give no, no. you. 
I'm going to give you conversations, career trajectories, very simple. Very, it's, and it's, that's it's, all we have time know, for, I'll give folks. you one, one sound effect. I'll give you, I'll give you one sound effect. Just imagine me, because this is what I'm doing right now. You can't see me, but I'm like, I'm slouching. So I'm going to give you a sound effect. I'm slouching. And I go, uh, that's, that's conversation. <laughs> clearly, clearly. Uh, in you know what I mean? Like if, like, if, like if a girl that hadn't had sex in seven years and a guy came up and said, hey, you, you want to you, you wanna hang out? And she just goes, huh? That's what it sounds like. That's the sound effect. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I feel. I mean, yeah, I would have gone with a womp, womp, but you know, you're not as good at metaphors as we are. Because well, we're I mean, good podcast yeah, host. Sure, yeah, yeah. That's why you I mean, asked. Read a room. Po- we've been trying to. We've been trying to get you guys out of here for literally 26 minutes. Like, read a room. But, but you this haven't been able. And you, and you haven't series, been yeah. able to. So that shows how good of a host you are, directing where the actual podcast goes. But that's all right. Fuck, that was a good um, comeback. Oh, I yeah, walked straight yeah, into it as well. Yeah, yeah, Shit. yeah. It's because you're a fucking idiot. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, but, you're, but you're not as dumb as Eddie. So that's what the one thing. Hey! You've got going I mean, let's not be playing fast and loose with that. You should see some of our, our conversations where we'll literally say something, go to bed, and not remember and it's there it'll be but, there it's the, the last only, thing in the conversation yeah, I, and we'll I, have it again I wish I could but I'm too busy and so is everyone else that's why there's no one that listens to the conversations um, but it's too busy they're, they're, we put out a lot of podcasts people are busy listening to that um, so right. that you yeah, know what yeah. I mean and yeah, and, all, no, and, all, and and also huh, you know what I mean <laughs> that, also that <laughs> James, just so you know, he was doing a sports metaphor, baseball. I know you're not really <clears throat> big into sports and stuff like that. You uh, made to stay stay inside and whatnot. That was baseball. That the one bases was. are loaded. Tyler's going up for batting. <laughs> that's oh, it's out of the park. Oh, I mean, that's our I, I careers. Like you guys, it's going to uh, be really funny when he listens to this back and he's muted. I know. The funny really thing, uh, <laughs> in, uh, did you notice that in Tyler's metaphor, he's playing with people's wood. Fondling balls. Yep. You uh-huh. know? Fondling balls, yeah. It's just yeah. what he's all about, really. Yeah, it's his, it's, yeah. his main goal in life. That's it's a weird one, you know? Is it weird just to, saying, the, is it weird to want to get your balls, you do your balls that. fondled? quite a metaphor. Yeah, but that's, but that's Shep's mum. But, you, you know. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> there, was, there was like a two-minute section earlier where that, that would have slotted in nicely, but... Instead, yeah. well, there's, sorry, there's I'll, I'll try to balls. slot it in nicely with her next time. That's fine. I laid you up for oh. that, but you're too slow. You, that oh. was like three seconds ago was your comeback for that one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Again, embarrassing, Tyler. Like, <laughs> However, conversations would like to formally invite James over to the light side of the force, you know, come away yes. from the toxicity and the weird bull uh, metaphors, you know, uh, and to some quality podcasting. And yeah. when you, know, you get tired of it, angry, come over to us. There's always a. There's always know, that's a, a really, space that's for a really good offer. Yeah, and I do, I do appreciate that, and yeah, I love it. But also, I, I like money more. So I think, <laughs> yeah, gonna, yeah, that's yeah, that's, yeah, 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 that's yeah, that, and that's yeah, the reality, true. isn't it? You I know mean, what I mean, our priority are our patrons and and quality content and making sure that they've got a cool place to hang. You, your quality. Uh, not really there. You're more interested in the money. We we know how it is. You're the yeah, typical is, YouTube yeah. shows. But, we, but we doesn't but doesn't the market decide what quality is? So when the market no, speaks with money, no, not really. Rage Shadow oh, Legends. Oh, oh sorry, I forgot. Yeah, this, you're this deal- podcast you're- brought to you by Rage Shadow Legends, the most ambitious something <laughs> something in 2019, etc. More words. Uh, <laughs> guys, thank you, bros, for coming on this podcast and making it a fucking blast. You guys are all... We love you guys to bits, honestly. For the, anyone who's listening and thinks, is there actually something going... No, we are bros to death. And we're going to love you guys till the end of time. Is there you something going on? Uh, <laughs> I mean... You know what I mean? Yeah, let's, I mean, let's not, let's not touch on it. Let's just leave that <laughs> for people to interpret, you know? Uh, that's, uh, right. Let's yeah. not open that door, you know? Let's not- <laughs> hey, hey, James, how do you feel about the Conversations podcast? I don't. So you don't feel about it. I've already talked about this. I don't feel hey, about J- it. Hey, James, ask me, ask me the question back. Ask me the question back. How do you, Tyler, how do you feel about the Conversations podcast? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He set himself note, up good for that one. You can that find good. more of this toxic Australian douchebag and the guy that doesn't talk very much over on YouTube.com. <laughs> Uh, slash lasers or dynamite and their patreon patreon.com forward slash as always 
they actually do great stuff over yeah. there. Um, it's really good stuff. We we I'm does. a proud patron and whatnot. Yeah, James does tie that a little bit lacking, but he's I gonna like get that horse and fox. For some reason, that really vibes with me. You know? Yeah, it really does. It really does. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and there's the there's the history of like Assassin's Creed, but no one cares about Assassin's Creed. Yeah, who Tyler cares? Does as well. It's really mm. really odd. That who cares really if some there. Italian family really owned a fucking villa, right? Yeah, oh fucking, who gives a shit? Eh? Well, he's watched my video, so that tells me that much. <laughs> <laughs> It was actually uh, really interesting. It yeah, was interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, we fucking yeah, love you guys. guys obviously, see... that's why we show up here, and that's why you, uh, you guys. Are, we told you the first time we had. I felt like the f- when we had, first had you on Kill Connor Club, and he was like, "Are you sure? Like, do you want us? Like, he. It was so like, like, yeah, uh, we want you as guests. Ah, uh, like it, it was so. You you seemed so shocked, but but we love we love talking to you guys. We love have uh, having you part of the community, and it was and it was. I'll yeah, speak for James as I always do with every conversation. Um, it was great. It was great being here. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Yeah, you can take it. That's no, okay. I I did feel a little bit like that. Honestly, I was like, oh, I mean, I know James and whatnot, but I mean, he, he's he's huge. Does he care, does he give a shit about us and whatnot? Does he give a shit about me? And then it was like, oh no, huge. we're friends. He and is then, huge, yeah. a perfectly reasonable, a kind of an excessive size. Actually, he's, he's too big. <laughs> he's a big guy. Um, I do want to say this is a landmark episode. This is the first time the four of us have got together, and it's ended under three hours. I mean, we're nudging it at two and a half hours. But yeah, we're, like this two hours be the or something. First time ever that we're under three it's pretty amazing yeah every time it's always been over three hours and people <laughs> are like time. god can you guys just shut up already fuck right forcing me to listen to this i was like there's no way we did three hours of the star wars one. Oh, we did over three hours of the star wars <laughs> one too <laughs> holy, yeah, we fuck. Did. We holy did. fuck okay yep yeah we did it didn't we yeah. yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> yes, James has what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, James has the moves. Yeah, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> oh God. Well, thank you for oh, joining us, ladies and gentlemen, here on uh, the Conversations podcast, brought to you by As Always Entertainment. Um, this motherfucker, as is, is this motherfucker, this motherfucker right here. Yeah, thank you, bros, for coming by, and thank you guys listening for listening to this podcast and joining us on this uh, awesome time. Let us know in the comment section if you like this stuff and tell us how much you hate James. He's a he's a bastard for, the for doing what he did up. to me earlier, <laughs> mate. He just won't shut up. He's just a, a box, you know. You open it up and it's like, oh fuck, just put the lid back on. Put the lid back on. Yeah, thanks for swinging mm-hmm. by, guys, and you know giving what? us this great uh, great podcast. Thanks for hanging. Yeah. Anytime, oh, it's anytime. It's right. been good. I we'll love, I love being a bully to you guys, and I'll do it anytime you want. Oh, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>